Some guy picked up Mr. Han's resume and then said that due to his academic qualifications and work experience, they could not give him this position. The employer added that since he is an old friend of Mr. Du, when they have a suitable position, they will notify Han. The guy started to leave because he still had work, he said goodbye, the girl who was standing next to her apologized that this happened. The main character began to leave and heard the guy say, he heard that he and Mr. Du studied at the same school, and then he entered the university, after which Han's ex-girlfriend stole all his money. The stranger did not understand how Han could ask Mr. Du to help him with his work, the man with glasses turned around and looked at them. After which, with sadness in his eyes, he began to leave, the main character thought that the last chance to get a normal job had been missed. Thinking that his best friend had abandoned him and that he was a grown-up loser, Han came to the metro station. The main character, having passed through the turnstiles, blamed himself for what happened, he had nowhere else to go. Han stopped and began to wait for the train, immersed in memories of today's conversation with his employer. The train began to arrive at its stop, it was moving very quickly, and a desire appeared in the main character's thoughts to end it all. As soon as he had this desire, the room became very dark, he did not understand what had happened. His first thought was that the lights were turned off at the metro station, he was very surprised by this. When he started looking around, he discovered that no one was around, all the people had disappeared, after which a loud bell rang. He was very surprised when he saw a blue cube in front of him that was emitting lightning, a mysterious voice said that the system report was ready, the beginner's gift set was open. With the help of accumulated consumer value, Han can fulfill any of his desires. He was ordered to make his wish, he stood clasping his hands, the man thought, if this is true, then he needs to try. The man said that he wants to go back in time, this time he wants to become successful, after which the main character began to fall into the abyss. Han began to cover his face with his hand and closed his eyes, he heard a train traveling along the railway tracks. It was night outside, the main character saw a train in front of him, which was traveling somewhere into the distance. The main character moved on to this train, when he looked at his reflection in the glass, he saw a young guy there. He looked at himself in surprise and realized that he had become younger, after which the guy touched his face with his hands. The guy turned his head and couldn't utter a word, because he saw something unusual there, he thought that he had moved in time. A very beautiful blonde girl sat in front of him and looked thoughtfully out the train window. Han looked at her a little embarrassed, he thought it was impossible, it was Tsin Yen Fei. The girl turned around and asked if he wanted to say something, the guy was a little confused. The main character answered, he just wanted to ask where they were passing, the guy didn't understand why the goddess from their school was sitting opposite him. The guy was surprised, he realized that he had moved to 2013, this fact shocked him. After that, Han started a conversation with the girl and asked whether she remembered him or not. Yen Fei smiled, looked at the main character and replied that they studied in the same high school. Han stood up and asked if she had already entered or not, the fair-haired girl answered positively, after which the guy said that she had taken the wrong road. The girl didn't understand what the guy was talking about, she asked if this train wasn't heading to Jiangxin. The main character sat down in his seat, adjusted his glasses and smiled, he wanted to say that the girls were dear to his heart. The blonde girl picked up the phone, she felt very strange and scared from the words of the main character. The guy hit his hand on the chair and said that their meeting was destined for them, Yen Fei screamed for Han not to come close to her and called Xiao Han. A guy approached them, he was very angry with the main character, Xiao Han told him to get off the girl. It was all just memories of how everything happened in the past, he couldn't believe that he had once been such a person. Han wondered why he used to be such a person and always ate instant noodles, he was asked by Xiao what he was talking about. The main character looked at Xiao and thought that this guy was the same as he was before, in the past, he would have tried to deal with him, but the current one would never do it. When the guy went to the hot water tap to pour water into a bowl of noodles, he heard a bell and a mysterious voice saying that the wish function was closed. A table appeared in front of the guy and an unknown voice said that the consumer system was officially open, Han did not understand what it was, but after that he assumed that these were his characteristics. When he looked closer, the guy realized that at the age of 18, he was a real mediocrity, just looking at himself made him feel bad. After which a sign appeared that said that Han gains experience through consumption, which he can use to improve his skills and characteristics. 
He needed to earn money and improve consumption, if he upgraded everything to the fifth level, Han would be at the top of this world. Before this, the guy was an ordinary person, but now, he wants to surpass all people on earth and become a new type of person. But the main character's dreams were interrupted by a stranger who suddenly came to him and asked him if he had not finished yet. The main character left the premises and thought, spending money is not a problem, but first you need to earn it, he needed to think about how to earn his first pot of gold. Han was already approaching his seat and heard Xiao offer the girl a treat in the dining car, but she refused, the guy explained that his aunt would scold him for that as Fei eats this stuff. Yen Fei objected, she didn't want him to take care of her like that, Xiao fell silent, and the main character had already put the noodles on the table. The blue-haired guy laughed, Xiao blushed a little and looked at Han. After which, the guy with brown hair got angry and asked why the main character was laughing, they were in love as children, so it was his duty to take care of Yen Fei. The girl said that she just wants to eat what she wants and no one should tell her. The blonde girl went to buy snacks in the dining car, and Xiao told the girl not to be angry with him, while Han ate his instant noodles. Yen Fei came to the main character and sadly said that she was late, almost everything was sold out. Han said that he had duck legs, the fair-haired girl was delighted and asked how much they cost, the guy replied, two and a half yuan. The girl I knew replied that she did not have such small money, she would try to look for three yuan, the main character replied that this was a lot. The guy decided to share half the orange so that they would be even, Yen Fei smiled and thanked him. After which the girl said, she didn't think that the main character would be such a caring guy. The main character became a little embarrassed and wished him bon appetit, after which he thought that her smile was very beautiful. Suddenly Xiao came running and shouted that he had money, he could pay for the entire dining car for Yen Fei, but she decided to accept Han's scraps instead. The blonde girl told Xiao not to be so rude, the guy got very angry and said that she would rather eat the disgusting packaged duck leg than go to the dining car with him. The girl stood up and said the name of the guy with brown hair, she didn't understand why he was so angry with her. Han thought that this girl could be cruel, while they were arguing, he sat quietly and did nothing. Yen Fei approached Xiao and told him to mind his own business, they were not suitable for each other, all the people sitting next to them paid attention to them. The blonde girl decided to leave, Xiao turned around and asked her where she went, Yen Fei replied, throw out the trash. After that, the guy with brown hair turned around and looked at the main character with a frightening look. He grabbed Han by the throat and threw him with all his might into the train corridor, the blue-haired guy did not understand why he did this. Xiao said that Han was to blame for everything, when he approached the main character, he kicked him in the stomach. The main character was lying on the floor, and the guy straightened his clothes and told him to leave. Han began to get up, drops of blood came out of his mouth, he didn't think that his body was so weak at 18 years old. The blue-haired guy said Pan Xiao, he turned around to look at Han and listen to what he had to say. He smiled, wiped the blood from his lips and said, he still needs the money and Xiao, his golden ticket. Further actions take place in a train carriage, where doctors examine the main character, his pupils did not react, he was in a deep coma that his Fei was very worried about the guy. The doctor shone a flashlight into the guy's eyes and said that it was possible that it was a traumatic brain injury, the situation was quite pessimistic, he needed to find the nearest hospital. The system reported that the main character had a bruise on his left arm and hip, fractures of the nasal cartilage and oral bones, one tooth was missing, and multiple facial bruises. The main character recalled in his mind how he fought with Khan, who caused him a lot of trouble. Further actions take place before Han is beaten, Xiao points his finger at the blue-haired guy and says that how could he pretend. Han looked at the guy with brown hair and said that he was a monster, the main character thought, in a past life, Xiao solved problems exclusively with the help of his fists. The guy grabbed Han by the clothes and asked what he said, these words made him very angry, he could not contain his rage. The blue-haired guy replied, Xiao is a monster, he narrowed his eyes and sarcastically asked if he liked it. Xiao became even more angry with Han, after which the blue-haired guy thought, he will show him what it means to be truly ruthless. The main character looked at the guy with brown hair and said that without his help, he would have had a hard time coping, he is very grateful to him. Yen Fei's ex-boyfriend hit Han in the face with all his might, and he flew a couple of meters away from him. 
People were surprised by how Xiao mercilessly hit the blue-haired guy, they began to call the police for help. A guy with brown hair attacked the main character, saying that he would beat him to death, but people decided to stop him. The man grabbed Xiao's hand and began to pull him away from Han, but he did not want to stop beating the main character. He broke free and swung his hand, after which he hit the blue-haired guy in the face, Yen Fei saw this and screamed for Xiao to stop immediately. Xiao began to worry a little and make excuses, he wanted the girl to listen to him. The blue-haired boy smiled and called him a loser, his plan executed perfectly. A fair-haired girl ran up to the main character, she was very worried about his health. She touched his face and asked how he was feeling, her face filled with worry. Yen Fei started calling the doctor for help because Han needed immediate help. Han wanted to touch her with a trembling hand and told her not to worry, he was fine. After which he fell unconscious, Yen Fei saw this and began to worry even more about the main character. The blonde girl shouted to the whole train that they needed a doctor, if he didn't come, the guy could die. After that, the police came in and started asking Xiao what happened, he began to make excuses by saying that Han started it first, but people pointed their fingers at him and said that he was lying. The stranger told the police that Xiao began to cling to the girl and she didn't like it, when she went out to take out the trash, he simply attacked the guy. People on the train began to confirm the stranger's words, they added that the guy who was beaten did not even resist, Yen Fei looked at Han and thought that it was her fault. Yen Fei looked down and thought that the main character should not have gotten into trouble. Xiao told the policeman that he threw the first blow, but Han mocked him, the policeman replied that he had heard enough. The policeman said, the facts speak for themselves, doesn't Xiao think about the consequences when he hits someone, if he thinks that it's okay to hit people just because he's rich, then the guy won't escape responsibility. A man in a police uniform handcuffed Xiao and said that for violating the law, he would go to prison, the guy was shocked by the policeman's words. The guy with brown hair ran up to Yen Fei and told her to explain everything to the policeman, that he was not that kind of person. The blonde girl knocked the guy's hand away, she didn't want to say anything to someone like him. Xiao looked at Yen Fei and realized that she was not on his side, which made him very upset. The guy began to get very worried and started calling his father, his parents loved their son, so they would definitely find a way to justify him. The father picked up the phone and asked what happened to his son, Xiao burst into tears and shouted for him to help him. At this time, the main character woke up, he began to say that he was in great pain, a blonde girl was sitting next to him. She took the guy by the hand and asked how he was, his body still hurt. The girl bent over and the main character blushed, he was surprised by the reaction of the girl and him, it was very embarrassing. Han's nose began to bleed and he tried to hide it by covering his face with his hands that his Fei asked where his blood came from and if he was really okay. The main character looked at Yen Fei and thought that she was a real goddess, no one could compare to her beauty. Yen Fei looked at the guy and said that he scared her to death, they would soon arrive at the station and she would go with him to the hospital. The blue-haired guy replied that he was fine, the girl pointed her finger at his face and said that Xiao knocked out his teeth. The guy thought that this was nothing for him, before, any scratch would give him a headache, but now everything is fine. The main character said, he wanted to give information about what happened, an excited stranger looked at him. He covered his face with his hands and smiled, after which he said that the guy suddenly pounced on him and started beating him. The policeman told the doctors that he needed to examine the beaten blue-haired guy for a report. Outside, the sun had risen, and the train was quickly passing through a dark tunnel. Yen Fei looked out the window and thought that Xiao was crazy, how could he attack a stranger? If something bad happens to Han, she will not forgive herself, her heart is filled with excitement for the blue-haired guy. Suddenly she saw a blue-haired guy trying to open the doors and go out into the corridor. The main character left the compartment, but he could not stay on his feet and the girl took him by the shoulder, after which she told him not to fall and to be careful. The blue-haired guy hugged the girl and said that she was truly a goddess from their second high school, beautiful and kind, and then thanked her that is Fei. The blonde girl asked the guy, he was also from the second high school, no wonder he seemed so familiar to her. Han fell to his knees and laughed, after which he said that she still remembers him, it is a great honor for him, Yen Fei replied, the guy, even in this state, still behaves so boldly. The guy said that the blonde girl reminded him that he should pay more attention to training in the future. 
He raised his hand and said that it would be better if he was beaten when he was alone, but he should be able to protect the girl who is next to him. Yen Fei patted his hand and said that the guy has a good mindset, but given the current situation, he should focus on protecting himself first. At this time, the policeman was leading Xiao to the police station, this time he would be detained. Further actions take place in the hospital, the guy woke up and asked the nurse if he was already in heaven, the woman smiled. She explained that this is a specially designated room for him, it is provided with the best medicines, the guy can rest here until he gets better. The main character gave a thumbs up, smiled and thanked the woman for her hard work. A little time passed, the main character was lying on a hospital bed and looking at his experience points, although he did not pay the medical bills, the system considered that he had paid it. The treatment fee turned into points, which was strange, but for him, it was great news. Just as the guy was about to click on the system menu, someone outside the door said that he was coming in. It was Yen Fei, she greeted the guy and asked how he was doing, the girl had a lush bouquet of flowers in her hands. The blue-haired guy told the girl not to call him Han Li because he was embarrassed, the girl agreed. The blonde girl smiled and said that if she called him, tough guy Li Han. Han smiled and replied that the girl was deliberately laughing at him, after which he laughed. Yen Fei decided to give the guy the glasses, the guy was very grateful to the girl, he watched her and admired her beauty. In his past life, he had very little contact with this beauty, the blue-haired guy only heard that her wedding was a very grandiose event. She is very nice and has a good character, the guy wanted to thank her for giving him the opportunity. The beauty put the apple on the table and said that her father would be here soon, why don't they exchange contact information? The girl took out her phone and asked Han if he uses WeChat, and he answered yes. The main character picked up the phone and said that he had already sent her a request, suddenly the voice of a man was heard, who said that they were entering. The nurse escorted some people into the room and told them to go to this hospital bed. It was Yen Fei's father who came, the girl decided to hug her father, but there were some unknown people behind them, he asked his daughter if she was injured. Han noticed how the man clenched his fist, he didn't understand who it could be. The man approached the guy and bowed, he said that he was very sorry, the man was Xiao's father, he could not raise his son correctly. They came to apologize tabla haired guy, Han replied that this was not necessary. The guy with glasses decided to get up, but Xiao's father stopped him and then said that he shouldn't move with such an injury because he might get worse. The guy's mother said that it was quite appropriate to apologize in their case, the parents spoiled their son too much, they will compensate for everything. The main character said that this incident was partly his fault when Bai started beating him up, the blue-haired guy called him a loser, he shouldn't have done that. The man replied that he had already heard about this, it was all because of their son, he recommended that he consider the offer, they would reimburse the entire amount of the treatment. He added that as payment for resolving the conflict, Han would agree to compensation in the amount of 800,000 yuan, the guy could not contain his joy. Han wondered how many points he could get for such a large sum, Xiao's father said, if he thinks that this is not enough, they can add more, the blue-haired guy expected Xiao's parents to spend a lot of money for their son. The blue-haired guy thanked the man, it was not surprising for the guy that Xiao's father was a smart man. Yen Fei told him about this when they were talking in the hospital, the blonde girl looked at this conversation with interest. The main character said that if a man can solve this issue with money, it only proves that he is a responsible and caring father, but the guy thinks that it is more important to make him understand what he has done. The man replied that the guy had the right idea, when he returns, he will bring Xiao to his senses properly so that in the future, he will no longer cause problems. Han said that he doesn't really need money, he wants Xiao to understand that his terrible behavior can cause great harm to his family. He added that it was the man's attitude and sincerity that convinced the blue-haired guy to agree to resolve this issue, but if such an incident happens again, don't blame him. Pan shook hands with the main character, he understands everything, when his son is released, the man will immediately bring this offender so that his son apologizes to Han. Xiao's mother said that it was time for them to leave, the man should be given Han Lin a rest in the hospital. The man apologized and told Han to rest and take care of himself, he would not bother him anymore. All the visitors left Han's room and walked down the corridor, the man turned to Chen Yu. He apologized for the behavior of his problematic son, he caused them a lot of problems, the man promised that this would never happen again, 
Pan did not want this to affect their relationship between their families. Chen responded positively, but wondered if Xiao dared to cause trouble again, he would personally beat him. The mustachioed man said that they were delayed, Father Xiao must have business, so he can go and do it, the man replied that he has unsorted documents, when he finishes he will contact him. After this conversation they separated, father that is Fei noticed that his daughter was worried about something and asked what was wrong. The blonde girl replied that Pan was somehow very strange today. They left the hospital, the father said, he is glad that his daughter is okay, this young man from the Pan family will not bother her anymore, it is surprising that her mother told him to look after Yen Fei on the trip. Yen Fei said that she would definitely talk to her about it later if by if he had been more mature and rational like Han, this would not have happened. The father noticed that the girl had a good relationship with this young man, he asked if they had only known each other for a day or not. The girl replied, Han is from the same second high school as her, and besides, he was beaten because of her. And she thinks that she can easily make friends with him, he is a very good person, the girl asked what her father thinks about him. The mustachioed man thought and replied that he was a very mature and reasonable person, Yen Fei shouted for her father to be more specific. Chen told his daughter that guys who are so mature are usually shaped by the circumstances in their lives. In the life of such people, success prevails over personal feelings, if she asks him if he will have a promising future, then the father will confidently say that it will be so. Being persistent, adaptable, open-minded and determined is not something everyone can do, he is truly a very outstanding young man. The blonde girl smiled and said that his father underestimated him, Chen I realized it was sarcasm. The father replied that he had to remind her that being in a relationship with such a guy could be quite difficult, the man did not want his daughter to fall in love. Yen Fei looked at her father and told him not to worry, she was not interested in him. Next, the action takes place in the hospital, where the main character thought that the fees for the services of the hospital and the nurses who delivered his medicine for the last two days were added as points. Pan told him that he provided 200,000 yuan for medical expenses, but he would be able to get points for them after completing the treatment. At the moment, the blue-haired guy had a fairly large number of points, but he didn't know how to use them. Han thought about it, he touched his glasses, and then thought of how he could spend his experience points. The injuries to his face and the rest, no one will notice if he improves his vision, the main character touched the window of the system. He always had poor eyesight, Han once confused a dog with a child, the system reported that to restore his vision, he would need 300 glasses. The blue-haired guy remembered the moments when in his past life he had a lot of problems due to poor eyesight. The main character pressed the button for the system to restore his vision, he was counting on it. He got out of bed and decided to go to the mirror to look at himself without glasses, because now he could see perfectly without them. When the guy took off his glasses and saw himself in front of the mirror, he thought what a good view he had. Han thought about it, eyes are called the mirrors of people's souls, alluring eyes have a multi-layered clear structure and a bright rich color. The guy could not even imagine that simply healing his eyes could change his personality so much. His attractiveness rating increased by 3 points, which shows that different features can influence each other, and focusing on improving just one aspect can optimize the overall result. Suddenly, someone sent him a message, the main character came up and picked up the phone to see who did it. It was a blonde girl, she sent him a photo of food from the Confucius temple, Yen Fei asked him to bring him something to eat. The blue-haired guy wrote that she knows that he still doesn't have a tooth, instead, she better bring him a book. The blonde girl apologized and replied that it had slipped her mind and that she would bring him the book soon. Han wrote that she should not apologize, he would be impatiently waiting for her at the hospital. After which the main character wrote, she did not have any problems with the Pan family, otherwise he was very worried about the girl. Yen Fei started shaking the phone, the father turned around and looked at his daughter, he had a strange feeling. One day passed, the girl came to the hospital Tosa Nivalisome guy, he was holding a book in his hands and was a little shocked. The main character said he asked her for a book, but she didn't think it was too much, the book was about acting, her friend didn't understand why he didn't like it. The blue-haired guy got a little angry and said, he feels that she is deliberately laughing at him, the guy will reimburse the cost of the trip, just let him take this book from him. The blonde girl took the book from him and gave him a new one, after which she said that she was joking. 
Han replied that the girl was truly a goddess who would never disappoint him. A friend said how quickly the main character's mood changed and she is not a goddess, let him call her sister. That is Fei approached sign of Alasome guy and started looking at him, Han began to get nervous. The guy was embarrassed and said that his sister should not look at him so closely, he does not sell his body. The girl replied that no one thinks about his body, she looked at him because without glasses, he really increased his charm. The main character replied, she really thinks so, when he recovers from his injuries, he will become even more charming. The blonde girl smiled and asked that Han now claims that he is quite an attractive guy and his glasses only covered up all this charm, the main character gave a thumbs up. She didn't want to bother the blue-haired guy anymore, so she said goodbye and promised to visit him before leaving tomorrow. The blue-haired guy asked the girl if she didn't want to listen to him, Yen Fei replied that she'd better prepare a speech to impress her father tomorrow. It seemed strange to the guy that the girl mentioned her father, after which he said goodbye to her. Several hours passed, Xiao came to Han and apologized, he should not have taken out his anger on him, the guy hoped that the main character would accept his sincere apology. The parents cried with pride for their son, because he came to apologize tabla haired guy. Han accepted Xiao's apology and said that he has very loving parents, let him not make them worry about him, this made Xiao a little angry, after which a stranger approached the main character and handed him a contract. The man with glasses said, he asked a lawyer to review the contents of the contract, Pen was careful, and there were no problems with the contract. In addition to the compensation of 800,000, Pen walked up to the guy and handed him a small envelope that was deducted from his son's personal money, Han said that Pan was too kind to him. The main character thought about it, Father Xiao spent about 200,000 yuan on treatment and other expenses, in total the guy received 1,150,000, now that he has money, he can improve his characteristics to 69. And he would have another 500,000 left, it was quite a large amount, but he would need more money for future improvements. The guy lay on his hospital bed and thought, maybe he should just spend 1 million yuan and buy a cozy apartment. But in this case, he would have to eat only ramen and he didn't like it. Outside the door, someone called the name of the main character and described him as a young man. Yen Fei came to him with her father, they wanted to visit him, the girl asked how his recovery was going. The blue-haired guy wanted to say hello to Chen, but the man insisted that the guy stay in bed. The man said that they had to leave, but he wanted to visit the main character before leaving to give him a small gift. The mustachioed man took out a red envelope and wanted the guy to accept it, Han did not expect this from Yen Fei's father. Chen put the envelope on the nightstand and said that he hadn't said this before, but after all, these problems were caused by Xiao's inability to control his emotions, he was here to apologize and make amends to him. Han got angry and replied that he could not accept his money, Yen Fei had nothing to do with Xiao's madness. He understood that the girl was not to blame, so Han could not accept this money, they were surprised at the guy's words. The girl's father took the blue-haired guy by the shoulder and replied that he was a genius among young people, he understood everything, when Han Yu gets better, he should come to him as a guest. The main character thanked the man, after which Chen said that Han must have good grades. If his university is close to where his daughter is studying, he will be forced to ask a guy to look after her. The blue-haired guy was in shock, he did not understand that he needed to respond to such words. He decided to say that he was studying at Shanghai International Research University, the girl was glad to know this information. When the guy said that it was just a third-level liberal arts university, Yen Fei was very surprised. There was silence in the room, the guy said that when he was young and frivolous, he thought that grades meant nothing. So he took the wrong path and it was only after the results came out that he felt regret. After this incident, it took him a long time to come to his senses and change his thinking, the blonde girl silently looked at her father. The guy picked up his glasses and added, since he cannot go back in time, he just has to start a new stage in the form of a university, Chin Yu, I liked the words of the main character. The mustachioed man said that since he received such a large compensation, the man thinks that the guy should create his own business, Han agreed, but he needs to think about it first. Chen laughed and said that in a few years, this will be the world for them, young people, the main character replied that even after 20 years, he will still remain a pillar. They started to leave, the guy said goodbye and the girl's father told Han to continue to rest. Yen Fei smiled and said goodbye to the main character, 
the guy was delighted with this sweet girl. The blue-haired guy clenched his fingers into a fist and thought, it's time for him to act. The guy decided to leave the hospital, the nurse asked him if he could add her as a friend, he answered positively. The main character thought, in two years prices will skyrocket, people who take advantage of this opportunity will be able to get rich. Han boarded the bus and looked out the window, he didn't even remember the last time he took a bus. He arrived in his city of dreams and was glad about it, all the way he thought about how he would spend his money. The blue-haired guy came to a real estate agent, he wanted to buy a small apartment and that it was located near the university, if they found a suitable option, he would immediately pay the full amount. The woman replied that they have an apartment with a good view, which is located next to the university, compared to other apartments, the price will be much more affordable. The guy saw this apartment and was surprised that the price was lower than he expected, he remembers how his parents left him a down payment to buy the apartment. Han was supposed to buy this apartment and then, when prices skyrocketed, sell it to the highest bidder. But now, it doesn't make sense to him, after that, the guy went to his new apartment, he opened the doors and saw her. She looked very luxurious, in a previous life, the guy could only afford cheap housing. The main character had more than 1 million points, he decided that it was time to improve. The blue-haired guy was determined, he wanted the system to heal his knocked-out teeth. But for some reason the system was unable to do this, the guy noticed that his knocked-out teeth did not grow back. Han thought about it, in the system menu it was written that dental treatment requires a higher level than he currently has. Everything became clear to him, the limit is 69 points, and dental treatment leads to the fact that the appearance score exceeds this number. First it was necessary to go up to the second level, the guy decided to scatter the glasses evenly. The menu system began to glow strangely, he did not understand what was happening and why it reacted this way. The guy felt that he was getting stronger, his brain was becoming clearer, but it was very abrupt. Too much information began to flow into his brain, and he began to feel dizzy and dizzy. The main character could not cope with so much information, he shouted for the system to stop. Han said that he should have guessed, improve everything gradually, after that, he fell to the floor unconscious. The blue-haired guy woke up, he was surprised that he was still alive, the main character raised his hand and wanted to understand what day it was. After that, Han stood up very quickly, he felt as if he had been born again. Han realized that improving his characteristics so quickly could lead to a bad result, he remembered what the old people told him, that you can't eat too much at one time. The guy noticed in the system menu that not only the speed of thinking had increased, but also its other characteristics. He looked at the table, accounting was at level 3, as were finance, marketing and literature, everything became clear to him. The main character thought that the gap between people is not only a way of thinking, but also a stock of knowledge, for some, some knowledge seems useless, but for others, it can be very important. The main thing is to use them correctly, if Han has enough time and experience, he will also become the highest elite of society. His thoughts were interrupted by the phone suddenly ringing, the blue-haired guy took the phone out of his pocket and looked who it was. It was a call from the university, he accepted the call, the stranger said that he asked for a leave of absence for 15 days, today is the last day. If Han doesn't show up, they will expel him, the guy apologized and explained that he was not completely cured, he will immediately inform them when he gets a little better. The blue-haired guy ended the conversation, the system informed him that an update was available to him. He looked at the system menu, he could increase the number of charisma points, for each improvement, 200,000 experience points were required. Han didn't expect to spend 200,000 points, he wanted to know why it was so expensive. The system reported that at the moment improvements would cost 200,000, but when improving to level 5, the cost would be 10 million experience, the guy was very surprised by this information. The main character decided to forget about it and press the button to improve his characteristics, he still needs to think about level 5 improvements. After this, the guy noticed that the system warned him that every time he spends money, his likelihood of receiving a gift from the system decreases. The system added that all gifts received will be stored in his inventory, Han thought about it. It was difficult for him, he decided to forget about it, the guy wanted to deal with it when the time came. Next, the action takes place at Shanghai International University, where girls look at some guy and they really like him. This guy was Han, his appearance was on a completely different level than before, 
he was glad that he returned to this university. The blue-haired guy walked through the university and thought about how well he had improved his face. All the girls at the university turned to look at Han, he had no equal, no one had seen such an attractive guy in this university and in life. The main character came to the teacher's office and knocked on the door, he was told that he could enter. He entered and introduced himself, the guy came to check in, the teacher was surprised that Han showed up at all. The teacher told him to come in and sit down, the blue-haired guy apologized, he explained that he had been in the hospital for several days and was almost cured, he had a slight concussion. Han gave the certificate to the man, he looked at it and was surprised, he could hardly believe that the guy was in the hospital. The man with glasses said that they need to forget about formalities and get straight to the point, the main character agreed and thought about it, Fat Lu did not help him in his previous life. Lu had poor thinking and an underdeveloped body, the guy thought that he could easily cope with him. The blue-haired guy asked the teacher how the situation was in the dormitory of their university. The teacher said that the main character was assigned to the dormitory where it was very noisy, the guy replied that he understood everything. Therefore, Han handed the man an envelope, Lu was surprised and did not understand what the guy wanted. The main character said that the doctor explained to him that he should not be in noisy rooms, and this is a small gift from him. The man with glasses took the envelope and put it in his pocket, he promised that he would apply for a four-bed room for the guy, but it would cost more. Han remembered that in his previous life he shared a bedroom with five crazy people who bullied him, he doesn't want to repeat this experience again. The blue-haired guy took out a card and told the teacher not to worry, he would pay. Further actions take place in the hostel, where he sits at the table that is Faye holds the phone in her hands. The guy sent her photos of his dorm and wrote that he was back. The girl wrote to Han that she congratulated him, Yen Fei was glad that the guy wrote to her. Then she added, so as not to forget to eat right and rest, Sinavalasome the guy was pleased to see that she cared about him. The main character sat down on a chair and wondered if he could increase his appearance to 79 before the start of the winter holidays, he had changed a lot, he did not understand how to explain this to his mother. He now had more than 40,000 yuan left, he needed to go to the store and buy groceries. Han went to the store, he took the necessary products and bought them, then put them in a bag and went back. When the main character was walking along the road, the guy decided to take out his phone, he looked for it for a long time because he didn't remember where he put it. The guy couldn't decide what he should do next, he looked at his phone and thought. He looked around and noticed a guy with glasses, the guy came up to him, pointed his finger and asked how much this book cost, he remembered that his family was in a difficult situation, and he earned all the tuition fees himself. The seller said that this book costs 168 yuan, this book was about 60 ways to change yourself. The blue-haired guy asked if he was selling books at the original price, the seller replied that he would sell him this book for 100 yuan and also give him a set of magazines. The main character replied that he would rather keep it for himself, because he did not need these magazines. Suddenly the system reported that Han bought a book on transforming himself, and therefore, he receives a gift and an additional bonus. He looked into the system menu and took this gift, a book appeared in front of him, glowing with a blue light. Han wondered if this meant he should cultivate more, the inscription on the book said that this was the original oath of pharmacist Liu Li Guang. It was an unremarkable scripture, it can slightly increase the IQ. According to the current situation, reaching each next level requires a huge amount of experience, he raised the book up and said, what luck. The seller asked the blue-haired guy what he was doing, the guy returned to reality and looked at the seller. Further actions take place at the university, students, as usual, whispered to each other. The main character entered his class, and the teacher followed him. The teacher told the students to be quiet because the lesson would start soon, after which he reported. The last student from their class has arrived, let the new student come up and introduce himself in front of everyone and the students will support him. Han remembered that in his previous life, because of his uncertainty, after he introduced himself, the whole class laughed at him. But now everything has changed, the guy came up to the board and greeted all the students, he introduced himself and said that he came from the city of dreams. He was in the hospital due to illness and could not appear earlier, the guy regrets this, the main character hopes that he will have the opportunity to make amends in the future. He is honored to be in their group, the reason why he studies finance is because with the help of them, he has the opportunity to realize his dreams.
The main character wants to be a kind but rich man, for him it will be hard, but he is not going to give up, the guy hopes in the future he will be able to make friends with the same hobbies and goals. And despite all the difficulties, they will be able to walk this path together, the students began to say that it looks like someone is dreaming too much, the girls liked how Han speaks beautifully. The blue-haired guy raised his hand and pointed with his finger, and then said that he hopes that they will all achieve success in the future. The teacher began to applaud the student and said that the guy performed well in front of everyone. A stranger sitting in class asked Xia Lu Ting what she thought about this guy. Han added, he forgot to say two things, first, if there is a leader in this group, then let him come to him and they will discuss payment for additional tasks. And the second thing is, is there at least one girl in this group who likes him, he is very young and has never fallen in love. If she is interested in him, let her meet him in person, not in public. The guys who were sitting in the class were very angry with the main character, they did not understand what he thought of himself, after that, Han decided to sit in his place. They were surprised that this guy would live with them in the hostel, one of them said that he had not seen him since the morning. The blue-haired guy thought when he looked at them, Laoji Anduan Shao, but he does not think that they will be a hindrance for him, as in a past life. He didn't have to worry about them, he came to his place and said that he would sit here. As soon as the teacher left, students began to approach him to get to know him better. The students wanted to know where he was from and what he was doing here, everyone really liked the new guy in the class. There were more and more girls, one of them asked if she could add him on social networks, Han answered positively. The head of the group came to the main character, she said that her name is Xia Luting and firstly, they should discuss his payment, and secondly, she wants to add him as a friend. Han smiled and thought, this girl is one of the three goddesses of the university, she has won the title of the most beautiful goddess three times. Although she is beautiful, but in her previous life, Xia Luting set him up so much that he almost dropped out of university, the blue-haired guy asked why she immediately made demands. Xia Luting answered why he can nominate them, but she can't, the guy thought, in this life he can change everything. The main character said, then he is interested in one thing, why should he add the girl as a friend? The guy looked at the dark-haired girl and said that he was just looking for the head of the group. The girl became embarrassed, the guy added that perhaps she liked him or she had other motives. The dark-haired girl straightened her hair and replied, he thinks too much of himself, a guy like him is not interesting to her. Han said that he understood her and asked how much the lessons would cost. Xia Luting thought about it, the guy changed the topic so quickly, and then answered, one lesson will cost 200 yuan. The blue-haired guy took 200 yuan in his hand and asked if she would notify him about any events. She took the money and replied that she would notify him three days before the start of any event. Her friend ran up to this girl and hugged her, after which she asked if she had found a handsome guy. The main character took out his mobile phone and replied that then he would not bother her anymore. A red-haired girl sat down next to him and said that her name was Yu Yun and her hometown was in Jiangnan. Han was a little embarrassed and confused, he said that the girl has a very beautiful name. Yu Yun replied that she also liked the name of the main character, she was interested in what the guy was interested in. But the blue-haired guy just looked at the phone and was silent, he didn't want to answer anything. The red-haired girl thought, he didn't even pay attention to her, she was wondering why the guy was ignoring her. After that, Yu Yun asked what brand of phone he had, she had never seen one like this before, the main character replied, Xiaomi One. She realized that the guy's character was similar to children from rich families, the red-haired girl decided to ask another question, why he chose this particular phone, the guy answered that it was powerful. The student was shocked, it seemed to her that the blue-haired guy was simply mocking her. Yu Yun stood up abruptly, she couldn't believe that she was not interested in the guy, the girl no longer wanted to sit next to him. The girl turned around and just left, she wanted to be friendly, but for some reason he was not interested, Han thought about it, he didn't want to talk to her because she uses people. In her previous life, she tried to be friendly, but after that, she manipulated people, Yu Yun begged for money under various pretexts. The students who were nearby asked Han why he didn't talk to Yu Yun, she was very beautiful, like the head girl, they wanted him to be friendlier with her. The blue-haired guy replied that he simply did not want to communicate with her, and the headman was beautiful, but this did not mean that he only paid attention to appearance. Moreover, 
the main character pays more attention to the girl's character and intelligence, this conversation was overheard by Xia Luting. A little time passed, it was night outside, and the students lined up near the elevator. The main character went up the stairs, but one of the students asked him why he wouldn't wait for the elevator. Han replied that his room was not far away, he pointed his finger at the stairs and added that he would go along them. An unfamiliar guy was sitting in the dorm room, he asked if anyone had cigarettes, he wanted to smoke. The guy looked to the side and was a little confused as to how he got here and what he was doing here. He kicked the chair very hard in front of the main character, the guy was very unhappy with his appearance. The student got out of bed and shouted why he came, let him leave here, he didn't want to see him. The blue-haired guy just looked at this and remained silent, he didn't want to take these guys seriously. They looked at him and his reaction, one of them smiled. As soon as the student took a cigarette and wanted to smoke, Han told him to leave his place and remember to lift up his chair. The stranger lit a cigarette and exhaled cigarette smoke on the blue-haired guy, after which he said that he would not do this. Han took a chair and began to lift it, after which he asked where his bed was, the student replied that his bed was on top, but why did he need it? The main character began to climb the stairs up to the bully's bed, he did not want to talk to these people. The short-haired guy said that this guy is really very interesting. The green-haired guy agreed with him and said that he thought he was too arrogant. The blue-haired guy climbed onto the bed, took his bag and began to open it and take out his things. The guy with glasses noticed that Han took a hammer out of his bag, he was shocked by what he saw. Han took the hammer in his hands and began to look at his neighbors with a smile, his gaze threatening. The guy who was watching this began to point his finger at their new neighbor, this was noticed by a student sitting next to him. He turned around to see what was going on there, he was wondering why the guy with glasses was starting to get so worried. The roommate saw the main character holding a book in one hand and a hammer in the other, with his eyes closed. They looked at him and were shocked and excited, the guys began to wait for the actions of the main character. One of them got angry and shouted what he was going to do here, he really didn't like the way the blue-haired guy did what he wanted. The guy with glasses grabbed the student and calmed him down, after which he told him not to do anything stupid. The green-haired guy's friend explained to him, didn't he see Han take a hammer out of his bag, the guy asked him what kind of normal person would carry a hammer with him. The short-haired guy looked and wondered what the main character was thinking about, he needed to act calmer, after which he began to leave. The other guys also decided to leave, but Han looked at them with a scary look and asked where they were going. The guy in the t-shirt said that his friend's girlfriend asked them to come and help her. They decided to leave, the blue-haired guy thought he scared them too much, he shouldn't have done that. The main character thought, even if he has a system, he should not rely heavily on it, he can gain knowledge, but it will not be able to completely influence his mind. The blue-haired guy concluded that he needed to try harder on his own to achieve his goals. Further actions take place in the university cafeteria, where two girls were talking with each other, Friend Yuyun said that it seemed to her that Han was from a rich family. This conversation was overheard by a guy sitting next to him, he thought that they were also studying at the Faculty of Finance, but living in the dormitory of the International Exchange University. Yuyun smiled and asked Xia Luting, isn't her family rich, how many houses does she already have? The students sitting nearby were jealous of her, one of them asked if it was really true that she owned several houses. Xia Luting drank juice and ignored such questions, she didn't want to tell everyone that she was rich. Han came to the dining room in a t-shirt, he really liked being young, he held food in his hand. He, just as he was about to eat, the guy heard someone calling his name, so he stopped. The blue-haired guy turned around and saw that it was his classmates who greeted the guy. The main character smiled and said that he was glad to see them all and wished them good morning. On the street, soaked in the fresh morning air, the sun brightly illuminated the dormitory where the blue-haired guy lived. Yu Yun approached the main character and said that she heard that he lived on the bottom floor, how could he achieve this? The students who followed them began to gossip, they said that this was definitely connected with the teacher, Han replied that it was just luck and nothing more. A hooligan came to meet them, saying that he was tired of being at this university, he was very annoyed by the teachers. Han stood and one of the students came up to him and told the guy to look at this man, he warned the blue-haired guy to move out of the way. The green-haired guy asked who dared to disturb him, but when he saw Han, he dropped the cigarette from his hands and was shocked. There was silence in the room, 
his friends approached the guy in green clothes and they looked at the blue-haired guy. Tension grew, an unfamiliar girl asked why they were looking at each other like that, her friend replied that she didn't know, but Hanyu was very unlucky. The main character looked at the hooligans menacingly and did not speak, he was interested in how this would end. The green-haired guy was very nervous when he saw Han's gaze, he wanted to run away. The guy with glasses called the main character brother and greeted him, the short-haired guy asked if Han had breakfast, the main character greeted the hooligans. One of the hooligans wanted to run away, but Han asked him if he would return to the room today. He turned around and replied that the guy would not be able to return to the room today because he had business. Yu Yun approached her friend and asked her why they knew each other, how they could meet. The green-haired bully said, if your brother needs help, then let him turn to Xiaodongbei and Din to Din. Han replied that he did not need help, at this time the elevator arrived. The blue-haired guy raised his hand, pressed the elevator button and asked if they would come in. Suddenly the girls pushed him into the elevator, and the hooligan said that the older brother and his friends would go first, and then they would follow them. The elevator door closed, the guy looked around, he didn't feel comfortable riding in an elevator with so many girls. When he turned his head, Han saw Xia Lu Ting in front of him, who was looking to the side in embarrassment, the guy thought that she really had a very beautiful figure. A little time passed, the elevator door opened in front of them, the guy looked to the side and thought. All the people started leaving the elevator, the guy was a little embarrassed, as was the girl who was standing next to him. When the main character also wanted to go out, a student put his hand on his shoulder and said that he was amazing, Wan and his friends were afraid of him, he asked if they had known each other before. The main character removed his hand from his shoulder and told him not to touch him, he didn't like it, the student noticed that Han was very strong. Han took the wallet from the student, he was shocked when he saw that the guy took the wallet from his pocket. The blue-haired guy smiled and thanked the student for taking care of his wallet, the guy apologized to the main character. The guy thought, sometimes you can resolve a conflict without resorting to violence, the student quickly ran away and said goodbye. Xia Luting called him and asked if he didn't say that he wanted to be friends with everyone, why was he so rude to him? The main character looked at the girl, smiled and replied, he doesn't remember saying that. When they entered the classroom, Yu Yun stood up and waved her hand to them, she cheerfully shouted that she was sitting here. Xia Luting ran to her friend, the main character looked at the girl and did not understand why she was behaving this way. She quickly sat down at the table and told the main character that she had one question for him, the guy stood next to her and wanted to listen to what she would tell him. The student looked at the blue-haired guy and asked him what kind of friends he wanted to make. Khan pointed his finger and replied that he wanted to make friends who didn't ask many questions. The short-haired girl laughed to the whole class, the head girl looked at her and got a little angry. Yu Yun apologized and said that brother Han is a very funny person, she couldn't help but laugh. She leaned over and added that she had a few questions for the guy, he could add her as a friend on Vichat. The blue-haired guy replied that maybe later, but he rarely communicates, his phone is always on silent mode, so she may not expect quick answers. Xia Luting asked what exactly is why he still hasn't responded to her message, he doesn't perceive her as a headman at all. The main character was lost in thought, last night, he delved into the study of economics, so he couldn't answer her. Han apologized to the girl and replied that a lot happened yesterday, so he was busy. The dark-haired girl opened the book and got angry at the guy, she didn't even want to look at him. The student thought, although he looks good, his character is simply terrible, she deducts points for this. For her, the best option now is to keep a distance between them. The girl looked at the guy as he quickly wrote something, she was shocked by what she saw. The blue-haired guy thought about it, even though his skill is third-level accounting, he still doesn't understand much. He opened the book and looked at it, although these questions were not very difficult, when he can fully understand this, he will be able to use his knowledge to make money. Acquiring knowledge and understanding it are not the same thing, the more knowledge he gains, the more difficult it will be to understand it. It is impossible to accurately extract the necessary knowledge at the right moment, then knowledge becomes a burden. The main character decided that it was better to acquire this knowledge now, so that no problems would arise in the future. He needed to create the perfect plan and act on it, he took out his textbooks and began to write with a pen on a piece of paper. Xia Luting looked at him and didn't understand what he was doing, she assumed that the guy was solving problems, 
but he was solving them too quickly. The dark-haired girl said that the teacher had not finished speaking yet, Han asked that he himself couldn't understand it. The girl became even more angry, she asked, since he has such a capacity for self-learning, then why is he still here? Han replied, after the summer holidays, he got into a fight and ended up in the hospital, he missed the opportunity to pass the entrance exam, he is a genius, but in the past he lacked motivation and now, he is trying to fix it. It is her choice whether to believe him or not, the girl looked at him in surprise. She closely watched the guy, after which she replied that she did not believe what the main character said, he was definitely lying to her. Yu Yun smiled and looked at the guy, she waved her hand and said his name. The blue-haired guy turned around and looked at her, but decided not to say anything to Yu Yun. The short-haired girl replied, she believes that he is a genius, the moment she saw him, she felt that he was different from other guys. The main character looked at Yu Yun and thought, this girl is not stupid, in her past life, she played with naive boys, but in the end she married some rich guy, as she wished. Han called the headman and asked, since she did not believe him, then what she thought of him. The dark-haired girl became embarrassed and stood up from her seat, after which she said, she will now say what she thinks about him. Xia Luting began to say that first of all, he was truly a genius, but because of his terrible character in high school, he was unwilling to study hard. On the eve of the entrance exams, his girlfriend cheated on Hanya with a rich guy, because of this he did not study, the guy could not even enter a second-level university. And the guy couldn't come to terms with this, after which he went to take revenge on them, but in the end, he was seriously injured and had to be hospitalized, and only recently did the guy come to his senses. He was angry and wanted these people to pay for what they had done, so he began to study hard. The main character keeps the phone that his ex-girlfriend gave him to motivate and remind himself of this. The guy warns himself and stays away from attractive girls so as not to repeat the mistakes of the past, so he keeps his distance from her all the time. In his introduction, the guy mentioned that he wanted to find a girlfriend, presumably to get over his ex-girlfriend, but he didn't take any action because he was hurt. The main character is simply afraid of relationships, this story sounds more reasonable than what Han told them. The blue-haired guy smiled, picked up a pen and pointed to his headman, after which he asked that she had not tried to write short stories, she was embarrassed by Han's unexpected question. Xia Luting replied, she needs to learn how to manage the class and solve the problems of the student council, she cannot find time to write novels. Han looked at the headman, her reaction was very strange, so he assumed that he had hit the target. He was wondering why the girl didn't become what she wanted, he had never heard of this in his previous life. Although she set him up, all her results in all aspects are truly impressive. She has a strong personality, self-control and self-discipline, which is usually difficult for people to approach. The guy thought that after graduation, the headman would live a good life, but he heard that this was not the case. The protagonist looked at her and thought that he never thought that Xia Luting had such a side. In a past life, Han had never heard of her writing novels, this proves that the girl is very careful, the guy wanted to remember what happened in a past life related to Xia Luting. After some thought, the blue-haired guy remembered when he went to her office to use the printer, Xia Luting went somewhere and told him not to touch her files. Han accidentally clicked on a message that came to her computer and saw a chat there where someone wrote that it was time for the monthly update. If the main character understood correctly, then this was her account for writing short stories. The blue-haired guy looked at the girl, he was very interested in what secrets she was hiding from him. Xia Luting sat in class and looked at the book, she wanted to understand what the teacher was telling them. The girl picked up the pen and brought it to her mouth, she thought about the main character and his words. The dark-haired girl wondered what she was doing, why this guy was leading her by the nose. She turned her head and looked at Han, he suddenly said about the novels, the guy had already somehow found out about her increase. The bell rang for a break, Yu Yun told the main character that he didn't want to go to the cafeteria with them. Han answered, he thanked the girl and said that he didn't want to, he had unfinished business. Yu Yun hugged her friend and said, no one has ever rejected her before, Xia Luting replied, isn't she just playing with him? Xia Luting hit her friend on the head with her finger and told her not to pay attention to him. Night fell on the street, a blue-haired guy walked down the street and thought, tomorrow there will be no classes, he needs to buy a computer, and also a new phone. He went to the door and thought, he was sorry that the communication fee was very expensive, 
he didn't want to spend a lot of money now. The guy had to be more economical now, because in the future he might need more of this money. The main character opened the doors to the dorm room, all his neighbors were already sleeping in their beds. One of them woke up and saw a tired blue-haired guy moving around the room, the sight of Han really scared the guy. The blue-haired guy put down his bag, the sound of the bag hitting the floor was heard throughout the entire room. The neighbors heard this sound of impact and Xiao Dongbei woke up, and the green-haired guy simply turned around. After that, the main character left the room, screams were heard in the room, one of the hooligans said that he wanted to move out of here, he was very scared. Han looked towards the door and heard their conversations and screams, after which he thought that he was having fun scaring these guys. A little time passed, the sun was shining outside, cars were driving along the road, in 2013 the market for electronic items was on the rise. Next, the action takes place in a mobile phone store, the guy was looking at which phone he should choose and thought that in a few years such a thriving market would decline. The main character pointed at the phone and told the seller to show it, after which he asked what floor the Apple store was on. The guy bought himself a phone, the price was high, but over the next few years, this phone will be the best price slash performance ratio. iPhones are used both for office work and for everyday life, so he chose it. The main character left the store and looked to the side, there was a fat man sitting there picking his nose. The blue-haired guy thought about it, he still needed to buy a computer, but it was better for him to buy a laptop, many stores that sell PCs deceive people. Han went to the store and bought himself a bottle of drink, he paid 2 yuan, but he could return the bottle and get 5 jiao. He took the bottle of drink, opened it and began to drink, he felt relieved after a long shopping trip. The guy drank the entire bottle of the drink in one go, he really liked the taste, he was glad that he chose it. After that, the main character gave the bottle back and thought, after buying a phone and a laptop, he had 15,000 yuan left, he wanted to go to a driving school, but this would not be enough. The main character had to save money, but after that he remembered, he bought a phone, but forgot about the SIM card. The blue-haired guy went into the store and bought a SIM card with 4G internet, he took it and thanked the seller. Suddenly the system worked, because the owner bought the card, the gift function was activated, let him accept the gift. He was surprised that the system gave a gift for a regular SIM card, he was wondering what it could give him. The guy decided to take a look and pressed the accept button in the system menu. The gift was opened, it contained bonuses, now the main character can choose any number, automatically connect to any network, his number cannot be tracked and he can intercept calls from any people. When Han saw that he could intercept anyone's calls, he began to worry because it was illegal. But this card was priceless, if used correctly, it would definitely be useful, the guy took the card and inserted it into the phone. Han thought that they would use it as the main SIM card, he was pleased with the gift. Further actions take place in the women's dormitory, where Yun asks her friend what she thinks who Han is, the girl answered why she was asking her. Yu Yun replied, the guy lives in an international dormitory, so his family must be very rich, his roommates are also rich, but they are inferior to him in temperament. He was also a little rude, Xia Luting sat and read a book, and then replied, he just has that kind of character. Suddenly, the girl heard someone send a message to her phone, she wondered who it was. Xia Luting picked up the phone and saw a message from the main character, the guy gave her his phone number and wrote to her to add him to chat and didn't tell anyone about it. She was surprised that the blue-haired guy gave her his phone number. There are many levels of telephone numbers, the highest level numbers are in the hands of high-ranking officials and can be sold at auctions. In the eyes of a knowledgeable person, this is not just a number, 139 is a gray batch of mobile phones, opened in 1995, the values of 6666 are inferior to 1111 and 8888. People who understand the rules of counting use them to make the number perfect, the dark-haired girl looked at the guy's phone number and thought. Yu Yun suddenly screamed at the entire dormitory, her friend was scared and looked at her. Xia Luting asked what happened, she replied that everything was fine, it was just a terrible moment, let her not pay attention to her. The girl wanted to understand who Han was, thinking about this she lay on the bed and looked at the screen of her mobile phone. Next, the action takes place in a dormitory, where someone was typing very quickly on a keyboard. It was Han who was trying to find some group on the internet, he looked at the laptop screen and didn't understand why he couldn't find it. 
He continued to look for it, he wondered if maybe he had spelled the name of this group incorrectly. The main character thought, perhaps the girl had not yet created this group, he sat and looked at the laptop, arms crossed. Han concluded that Xia Luting created the group in her second year when she had a fan base. If she had a fan base, it proved that her work was popular and in demand. The blue-haired guy thought that the golden era of online literature would soon come, many works would begin to be adapted into films and TV shows. Although the main character does not have time to write novels, he knows what will be popular in the future. With the girl's talent and his foresight for the future, the guy is confident that they will succeed. The blue-haired guy decided to try again to search for the girls' group on the internet, he began to enter similar names. He eventually found a similar group when he chose a different location, their group was called, The Loneliness of the Shining Cucumber. He assumed that he had found a second account, the blue-haired guy was very happy about this find. Han wanted to add her as a friend, but in order to add her, he had to answer several questions, the first of which was who she is, the second, who is he, the third, why does he want to add her as a friend? The main character thought about it, she was definitely writing short stories, and not doing something forbidden. The guy didn't know what to do, he grabbed his head with his hands and tried to think of something. One thought came to his mind, he began to search on the internet for short stories that the girl had created. But he never found anything, the author did not have short stories, the guy could not believe it, if he is not mistaken, then before the start of her studies she had six works that were either completed or discontinued. The blue-haired guy thought, knowing her personality, it is normal to have a couple of abandoned jobs, but giving up four jobs is no longer like her. Han began to press the keyboard buttons and search further, he thought that excluding various factors, there were only two authors left. He wanted to press enter, and as soon as he pressed it, he shouted, great, the search was successful. Further action takes place at the university, as soon as Han entered the class, he was noticed by a friend who began calling him by name. Yu Yun waved her hand so that the guy would notice her among all the students, she wanted him to come up to her. The main character looked at the girl, sweat started running down his cheek from the way she was behaving. The guy began to approach his friend, the students began to gossip that Yu Yun was able to get along with anyone, but one of the students said that this was just regular flirting. The blue-haired guy thought about it and decided to sit next to the girl, he didn't expect Yu Yun to be so interested, she took the initiative in communicating with the guy, it wasn't like her style. The short-haired girl told her friend that Han was already here, Xia Luting did not say anything, the guy thought that she was ignoring him. Han looked at Xia Luting and thought, let him appreciate the last moments of his pride, he threw the bait, all he can do is wait. The main character looked at his classmates, it was funny for him to observe the situation in the class. Although Fang Feifei is getting closer to Duan Xiaoyi, she likes Xia Luting more, but he will date Yu Yun, but after the wedding she will cheat on him. At first, Fan likes Lu Ji, but this guy, Fan Club Captain Yu Yun, the red-haired girl and Fan will never become friends. However, Xia Luting and Yu Yun have a good relationship, it is just a superficial friendship and nothing more. The blue-haired guy looked at them and thought that the exciting student life was just beginning. Yu Yun asked why Han didn't respond to her message, the guy replied that he was reading books, so he didn't notice. Lu Zhi looked at them and was dissatisfied that all of Yu Yun's attention was directed towards Han. Xiaoyi hugged Lu Zhi and told his brother to look at himself and Han, in fact there is not much difference. Han smiled and thought, as he expected, the guy takes every opportunity to laugh at someone. The short-haired girl asked Han if he was not going to take the translation exam, Xia Luting was interested in listening to the guy's answer. All the students turned around to look and listen to what the main character would answer, the blue-haired guy began to get nervous. He didn't understand why everyone was looking at him, because the transfer exam would happen in May next year, it was too early to talk about it. Yu Yun smiled and confirmed the guy's words, but she thinks that with his diligence, if Han prepares in advance, he definitely has a chance to pass. Xiaoyi asked Lu Zhi if he wanted to try to pass the transfer exam, the guy replied that he didn't think he had a chance. The guy with long hair looked at the main character and said that they should try, there is still a lot of time, they will have time to prepare. Lu Zhi replied that it is easy to brag, but if he cannot pass it, it will be very embarrassing, the student agreed with him. Student Xiaoyi said, unlike them, he won't need to work after graduating, 
so he will be useless to him, Fang smiled and replied that she was jealous, not having to work would be so nice. One of the students said, doesn't the Xiaoyi family have four apartments that are located in the center? The guy with long hair looked at the student and asked who said that his family had four apartments. And he added that his family has four apartment buildings, so he has nothing to worry about. The people sitting nearby heard about this and began to gossip, they didn't think that the Xiaoyi family was so rich, for apartment buildings, it was too luxurious. The student asked what area his house was in, the guy just combed his hair and smiled. Yu Yun looked at the guy and said, Xiaoyi can make a lot of money just by renting out apartments. Xiaoyi smiled and replied, they are not that expensive, after working for about two years, you can rent yourself any apartment, the main character wondered why he was talking about four apartment buildings. Han looked at the guy and thought, Duan Xiaoyi is the destroyer of his family, he doesn't know why the guy is lying to them. The Xiaoyi family owns eight small residential buildings and a small store, his parents opened this store, although he is not as rich as he says, he can still live a comfortable life. The blue-haired guy smiled, the Xiaoyi family has an average status, how could people fall for his words so easily? The guy looked at the dark-haired girl and thought that compared to them, Xia Luting arouses great interest in the protagonist. Xia Luting looked at Xiaoyi and thought, even though the Xiaoyi family has money, considering other aspects, the overall assessment is really low. He can be considered an ordinary person with some usefulness to her plans. But here is the main character, he is good in all aspects, the guy is very different from them, even though they are the same age. For his calmness and equanimity, the dark-haired girl adds a few more points to him. She took a closer look at the main character and wondered if she could add another 0, 5 point to Han's appearance. The girl's thoughts were interrupted by Xiaoyi, who told Han Yu that he was studying and trying very hard. Xiaoyi smiled and asked what the guy really thought about taking the transfer exam. Fan asked Han where he was going to transfer, the blue-haired guy replied that they would talk about it later. Xia Luting and Yu Yun looked at the guy and waited for his answer, the guy didn't understand why they were looking at him like that. The student looked at Han and thought that he was very different from all of them, and it seemed that his classmates were not interested in him either, perhaps he was not going to stay here for long. The blue-haired guy sighed and said that he had already told them, it was too early to ask now, Yu Yun saw that the guy had already finished his work. Yu Yun said, if he is not going to take the translation exam, then why study mathematics, it is not that important at their university, no wonder the guy did not pay attention to others. Han began to worry and thought that this was very similar to Yu Yun, the girl was trying to make an enemy out of him. But he found it rather amusing to watch how these kids acted, he wondered if he could play along with them. Lu Ji interrupted the protagonist's thoughts and said that his words could be interpreted to mean that the guy simply did not dare to say it. Xiaoyi said, Lu Ji shouldn't say that, perhaps Han has big ambitions, so he doesn't want to tell them about it in advance, he asked the main character if the guy wants to enroll in Fudan or Jiaodong. The main character looked at them and replied that he needed to think about everything carefully, and then he would tell them everything. Fan wanted to say something, but the girl was interrupted by Xiaoyi, who said that Han was just good at bragging. Lu Ji pointed his thumb at himself and said, if the blue-haired guy can get into another university, he will eat a pound of Yu Yun's crap. Yu Yun blushed and said what Lu Ji was talking about, the students started laughing and one of them asked why she was reacting like that. Han said that she can discuss this with him, let the guy feed Yu Yun good food so that it tastes better. Xia Luting closed her eyes and blushed, and then couldn't contain her laughter. The short-haired girl began to hit the main character on the back and screamed his name, Han did not expect such a reaction. The blue-haired guy looked at Yu Yun and said that it was not he who suggested this, why is she hitting him? The girl explained that Han Yu should not be like him, in any case, the main character is not allowed to be as disgusting as that guy. The main character did not understand why only Lu Ji could be so disgusting, one of the students said that Han really knows how to joke. Lu Ji thought, when he speaks it is considered disgusting, but when Han speaks, for some reason it is considered funny. Xiaoyi wondered what was going on in their class, Yu Yun looked very embarrassed and she still continued to hit Han. When was the last time he saw Xia Luting laugh like that? He can't afford Sinevalisome the guy should outshine himself, otherwise Xiaoyi won't even be able to find a girlfriend. The long-haired student said that his house was close to Fudan University, when Han took his exams, 
he could arrange a place for him to live. Especially for him, he will remove the rent, but Hanyu needs to study really hard, the guy hoped that the main character would accept his invitations. Han thought that Xiaoyi was trying to provoke him, and then replied that when the time comes, they can discuss it, besides, not all universities teach finance majors, so the choice will be difficult. There was silence in the class, everyone was looking at the main character, he did not understand why everyone was looking at him like that. Xia Luting thought about it, Han didn't see the provocation in Xiaoyi's words, it was simply impossible not to notice. She wondered how the guy could not notice this, Han simply did not pay attention. Students began to whisper, Han's decision to take the exam has nothing to do with Xiaoyi, he just can't stand being overshadowed. The dark-haired girl named the main character and said that with his level of mathematics, as long as the guy didn't aim too high, he should succeed. Han has good knowledge and excellent learning ability, with his level of mathematics, the girl does not think it will be difficult. The blue-haired guy looked at Xia Luting and couldn't believe that she praised him, it was too unexpected for him, the guy began to think what the girl was up to. Xiaoyi turned around and asked what Han's math level was, he would like to see how good he was. The student grabbed the sheets of paper on which the guy solved math problems to look. He didn't understand what it was all about, the guy couldn't believe that the main character could solve this. Xia Luting smiled and said that Xiaoyi didn't even know what formula to use to solve such a task. A hand appeared from behind, wanting to grab the pieces of paper on which there were tasks, while Xiaoyi looked at the girl and did not know what to answer. It was Fan's hand, she took the tasks and looked at them, and then asked the question why there was no calculation process. Han quickly took back his solved math problems and replied that the topic was too easy, so he just wrote the answers. Fan said that the blue-haired guy was amazing, she didn't even understand the first chapter, Yu Yun said, Han must have put in a lot of effort. The blue-haired guy replied, this knowledge is worth the effort, now his knowledge is equivalent to the level of second-year students in Qingbei, but he needs to study even harder. Yu Yun said that Han studies a lot, Fan confirmed her words, Xia Luting felt awkward with these two girls. Girls began to approach Han, they wanted to ask for his help in the future, Students also wanted to take exams for transfer, but they are not sure that they will succeed. Xiaoyi was very angry, he didn't understand why an ordinary guy could act like he was better than them. Moreover, these girls do not suspect that Han is just pretending, and they believe him. The student didn't understand why everything changed so quickly, even Xia Luting supported him. He looked at the guy and began to worry, if the guy can remember everything, then his abilities are truly exceptional. The guy with long hair said that in that case, he wishes him success in entering Fudan University and he hopes that Han can quickly find a good job. If the protagonist works hard and with a little family support, Xiaoyi is confident that in about 10 years, Han will be able to save up a down payment for a house similar to his. Although immediately after graduation, his income may be limited, the cost of rent and utilities may significantly reduce his budget, the main character thought that he was still a naive child. Xiaoyi added that Han doesn't have to worry, he can rent one of his apartments, and considering that they are classmates, he will give him a discount, after which the student asked how he liked this offer. Lu Ji replied to Xiaoyi that Han lives in an international dormitory, he really thinks that's an avalosome the guy wants one of his apartments. The student waved his hand and replied that paying 3,500 or 100,000 annually was clearly a significant difference. All of the Xiaoyi family's real estate is located in the city center, without a good income it will be difficult to find good housing, Yu Yun looked at Han, she was wondering if the Han family could compete with the Xiaoyi family. Xia Luting smiled and thought, it would be better if they had a serious conflict, the girl really wanted to see how this guy would look after defeat. At the very last moment, the headman would intervene, she wanted to see what the blue-haired guy was capable of. The dark-haired girl looked at Han and Xiaoyi, she was a master of strategies, she was very interested. The main character couldn't contain his laughter, Xiaoyi didn't understand why Han was laughing. The blue-haired guy waved his hand, smiled and asked the student what the most expensive house in his family was. Xiaoyi blushed and shouted that each of his family's houses was considered very expensive, so he didn't understand the guy's question. Han told the kid to listen to him, he doesn't know why Xiaoyi is talking about some apartment buildings when their family only owns small houses. The guy with long hair began to get very worried, 
after which the main character asked why he was so tense. The student in the dark shirt stood up and asked what the main character was even talking about, he was very dissatisfied with what Han was saying. All the students who were sitting in the class began to pay attention to this conflict, they did not understand what had happened. The blue-haired guy smiled and asked, House 4 in the Yangpu district, he knew this address. He continued, an average-sized house for several people, approximately 110 square meters in size, a rather unremarkable building, the student did not understand how he knew this information. The main character said that his family rents out the rest of the houses, the guy wanted to hear if he was right. After this, the blue-haired guy added that his parents purchased a small premises of 48 square meters to open a small store. But what was the average price of houses in the Yangpu area, he wanted Xiaoyi to remind him, otherwise he had forgotten. The guy with long hair couldn't say a word, he stood and looked at the main character. Han raised his hand and said, he wants to ask the question again, Xia Luting was watching all this. The blue-haired guy smiled and asked, among the real estate that his family owns, which house is the most expensive? Xiaoyi stood and pointed his finger at the main character, he wanted the guy to just shut up. The student lost his head, Fan was not comfortable being in such an environment, but she was interested in what else Han would say. Xia Luting looked at Han, beads of sweat running down her cheek, and the girl wondered who he was. The main character said, he forgot to add, that not only his family received new housing. The guy came here from a village that was about to be demolished, but the locals came together to prevent this. However, his family did not participate in the analysis of this case, the family came prepared when local residents agreed with the developers to be provided with new housing. Han looked at Duan Xiaoyi and said that it was just luck, instead of bragging, he could make an effort and improve his life. This wave of urban development brought prosperity to his doorstep, the guy should appreciate it, all the students were uneasy. The blue-haired guy continued that his family's prosperity is not as great as he says, and even if the Xiaoyi family has some wealth, it does not apply to him personally. The main character said, let the guy not come close to him, and he must unravel his contradictions in the stories. His current situation is quite bad, he has nothing, Xiaoyi asked how Han knew this. Xiaoyi began to smile and tremble, he felt uncomfortable with the main character, Han replied that he found out everything very simply. He came here to study, but his family didn't want the guy to cause trouble and Han himself doesn't like being bothered. There are only 64 people in their group, so Han found information about everyone to know who to communicate with and who to ignore, Xia Luting thought about what the main character told them. Han added, as for Xiaoyi, he himself should understand his level, the guy with long hair was shocked. After which the main character looked at him and gave the guy advice so that Xiaoyi would not allow the same situation to happen again. The blue-haired guy hoped that the student would be able to understand and realize everything that he told him. Xiaoyi said that he understood everything and sat down in his seat, he didn't want to argue with the main character or answer anything now. The bell rang and the teacher came and said that it was time for a lecture, today they would study microeconomics. The girl looked at Duan Xiaoyi's strange reaction, he sat and blushed all over with embarrassment, the guy thought that he had disgraced the whole class. Xia Luting thought that he was a loser, the guy didn't even answer him at all, she was disappointed. But Han was amazing, the dark-haired girl watched the guy interact with Yu Yun. She thought she would intervene to stop the conflict, but her plan was destroyed, Lu Ting thought about writing a novel about an overbearing CEO who is in love with her and making Han the main character. The dark-haired girl slapped her face with her hands and blushed, she didn't know what she was thinking, she needed to calm down and forget about it. The student remembered that someone once said, speak softly, but act boldly, the ability to be gentle and cruel makes a person a real man, Han's behavior just now was perfect. Showing mercy when tolerance is required and harshness when firmness is required. Xia Luting wanted to get close to the haired guy, a little time passed and the lesson was over, all the students went about their business. Yu Yun asked the main character where he will have lunch today, she and Xia Luting are going to the dining room, the girl wants the guy to go with them. Han replied that the canteen was too expensive, he couldn't afford it now. The short-haired girl said that she didn't believe the guy, Han couldn't afford food from the canteen, but he walked around with a newly released phone, the main character saw that Yang Fei wanted to add him as a friend. He replied that the girl was thinking correctly, 
Han had spent all his savings on him and now the guy was left without money. The friend said that in this case, she would pay for it, the blue-haired guy replied that he would not be able to return the money to the girl. The girl was shocked and furious, she didn't understand what was wrong with him, Han thinks that she will ask for the money back. Yu Yun said that he would not need to return anything to her, she just wanted to treat the guy. The main character thought, he used to play dating simulators and now, the girl scenario is changing. The blue-haired guy looked at the girl, he became interested, after which he said that he was very embarrassed. The short-haired girl grabbed the main character's hand, she told the guy not to be stubborn and come with her, Han answered positively, he just wanted to tease her. Fan and Xia Luting started laughing, Yu Yun didn't understand why the girls were laughing at them. Xia Luting looked at them and replied that the two of them were very funny. Han looked at the dark-haired girl laughing, he didn't understand why, she called them funny. Yu Yun was very embarrassed, she understood what Xia Luting meant by these words. She pinched the guy's hand and said that he was deliberately mocking her, Han shouted that he was in pain. The blue-haired guy answered why Yu Yun decided that he was mocking her, he didn't even think about it, the girl turned away and was offended by Han. The short-haired girl thought, she didn't understand what she was doing and why she was trying to invite him, she wondered if Han thought she was frivolous. Fan said, if the guy doesn't want to have lunch with Yu Yun, then how about having lunch with her? The main character replied, he doesn't mind being paid for, he just doesn't like the food in the cafeteria, Fang can discuss this with Yu Yun. The guy thought, thanks to Xiaoyi's stupidity, the girls became interested in him, but he is not interested. Even though they are beautiful, the main character did not want to give in to a serious relationship with them. One girl wants pure love, and the other wants to marry a rich guy, this will end sadly. Yu Yun said that judging by Han's reaction, Thesa Nevelisome the guy is not interested at all. The short-haired girl thought, considering Han's behavior in the past, he probably had experience in relationships, and most likely the guy had seen a lot of beautiful girls. A guy like him will be hard to get, but if his family is rich, it will be worth the effort. Just as Yu Yun was about to say something, she was interrupted by Fan, who asked her friend if she had already bought a new skin care set. The red-haired girl was shocked, Fan said, it means she doesn't have much money, she wanted to pay for Han herself. Yu Yun thought about it, she didn't buy any set, and then replied, she has enough money, Fan doesn't have to worry about it. Fan laughed and answered positively, just don't let her come to her to ask for money. There was an unpleasant atmosphere in the class, the girls were arguing with each other, and Han was watching. The main character felt uneasy, he raised his hand and said, maybe they should go to the dining room already. A friend approached Han Yu and asked why he bought a new phone, the guy thought about what to answer the girl. The blue-haired guy looked at the phone and then turned his attention to the girl and answered, because the head girl began to make up stories. If he continued to use that phone for a few more days, the entire university might start talking about his ex-girlfriend and how he was heartbroken. Xia Luting felt awkward and replied to not let the main character drag her into this. Fan asked Han that he had never really had a girlfriend, the blue-haired guy answered positively. Han said that when he was in school, no one ever noticed him and the students didn't believe him. Lu Ji and Xiaoyi looked at the guy and felt awkward, they did not expect such an answer from Han. The main character turned around and looked at the guys with a smile, he asked them what they wanted to tell him, he didn't hear. Xiaoyi covered Lu Ji's mouth and replied to tell the blue-haired guy not to pay attention to them. Yu Yun said that Han is indeed a very modest person, the guy was a little embarrassed. The student smiled and asked the main character what kind of girls he likes. Xia Luting also wanted to hear Han's answer to this question, Fan added, let the main character tell them. The blue-haired guy replied that he needed to think about what kind of girls he liked, after which he thought about it. After some thought, he answered, the one who is not only beautiful, but also gentle, understanding and sharing similar values, so that it would be comfortable to be around her. The short-haired girl gave a thumbs up and replied, no wonder Han didn't have a girlfriend, he's quite traditional. This was normal, a guy like Han deserves better, the main character felt embarrassed by Yu Yun's words. But the main character asked a question, what qualities make someone the best, the girls looked at him and thought about what to answer him. Yu Yun answered, it's all personal for everyone, she has quite large breasts and guys like it. Fan agreed with her friend, it is important what the main character likes, Xia Luting is beautiful, Yu Yun has a great figure, 
and she also needs to come up with something. Xia Luting thought, even though she has no feelings for Sinevalisome it's very annoying for a guy to be their imaginary rival, besides, if she fell in love, she wouldn't lose. Students acted like children in her eyes when it came to competition. The short-haired girl took Han's hand and then said, they should go together, if you don't stay, there will be nothing left for them. Further actions take place in the dining room, Yuyun said that she bought fruits, after which she began to look for the main character. She wondered where he had gone, he was no longer sitting in his place, the girls did not answer anything. The main character approached the girl from behind and said, he's here, he couldn't eat their food for free, he's not sure what the girls will like, but he thinks everyone likes desserts, so he brought them a piece of cake, the guy bought several types. The friends could choose which one they liked best, they paid attention to the blue-haired guy and were glad that he took care of them. They ran up to choose a piece of cake, the main character told them not to rush, no one would take it away from them, after which he thought that these children were easy to please. Han drew attention to Xia Lu Ting, who was standing next to him and looking at a piece of cake, the guy asked the headman why she wasn't eating. It contains a remarkable cream, it is very useful, let him try it, if the girl doesn't eat it, then let her give it to him, it was quite expensive. Xia Lu Ting replied that she would sit down at the table now and then taste it. The student asked why she should give it to the main character, Han smiled and thought, this technique still works. Yu Yun asked how Han knew that she wanted dessert from this place, this store is not cheap, after which she thanked the guy. The blue-haired guy said, however, these dishes are also not cheap, he took his chopsticks in his hands and began to eat the food. Fan replied that the main character was right, there were two big chicken legs, it was quite expensive. The short-haired girl replied, if she treats Han, then the food must be excellent, why is Fan always trying to find some flaws? The student said she was worried because her friend didn't have enough money, Yu Yun replied, as long as Han needed something, she would support him. The main character replied, it was inappropriate, if he eats like this every day, the girl will run out of money in a week. To prevent this from happening, Fan is buying food tomorrow, he pointed with chopsticks at her, the girl was shocked by these words. Fan hit her chest and answered positively, tomorrow she will feed the main character something very tasty. They high-fived each other and the girl said that the blue-haired guy must come tomorrow. Yu Yun said, Fan can treat him tomorrow, she will not compete with her, but the girl will not treat her anymore. The friend said she agreed with it, the blue-haired guy thought it looked like a wheel of fortune. However, these people are the same as in their previous life, this haunted the guy, people grow only when they cross certain thresholds. Only then can one rationally evaluate the stupid things they did in the past, he took out a tangerine from his pocket and watched the girls. Xia Luting thought about it, her friends quarreled, but the guy did not react, judging by his behavior, he is not interested in them. The main character began to eat a tangerine and looked at the dark-haired girl. The girl became embarrassed when the guy said her name, he asked Xia Lu Ting if she wanted a tangerine. But the guy said that there was only one piece left, Xia Lu Ting thanked the main character and refused. She waved her hand and told the guy to eat himself, after which the girl looked away. Han thought that comparing Xia Lu Ting with other girls at the university, she was much more interesting. This dark-haired girl made his life difficult in the past, Han was thinking about how to repay her, the most interesting is yet to come. Further actions take place in the hostel, the sun illuminated the multi-story building, and there was silence on the street. The blue-haired guy returned to his room, Xiaodongbei greeted him, the main character asked the guy if he had lunch, the guy in the t-shirt said that they were just getting ready. The main character did not understand the guys, looked at them and asked why they were going to dinner so late. Xiaodongbei began to worry, he asked Han, he had already had lunch, the guys could have lunched together, this is a good opportunity to get to know each other better. Han turned away and replied that he had already eaten, after which he asked the guys if they were going to party all night again. Short hair the guy was scared and responded positively, Xiaodongbei I didn't understand why the main character was acting so threateningly. My roommate said this campus is very small, there is nothing else to do here other than internet access. The blue haired guy looked at Xiaodongbei and thought, he knows how rich kids spend their time. Now they just surf the internet, but in the future, guys will find new ways to waste time, in many cities there are clubs that can boast of their VIP areas. Han used to wonder about the source of their wealth, 
but his curiosity has since waned. The main character thought that now he does not need to worry, there are still many opportunities ahead, in the near future, he will surpass them in wealth by a significant margin. Xiao Dongbei decided to introduce himself, he is from the northeastern region, Han can call him Xiaobei, his hometown is quite small, and his family is in the lumber business. The second roommate also introduced himself, his name was Ding Yu, but everyone calls him Ding Ding, he is from Jiangsu province, his family runs a factory, the guy with glasses asked if he wanted a cigarette. Han looked at the guys and thanked Ding Ding, and then said that he does not smoke. Xiao Dongbei came up to Ding Ding, hugged him and said, Han is really different, not smoking is good, smoking is bad for his health. The short-haired guy said they were just smoking for fun, the main character thought that he really intimidated them a lot. The blue-haired guy thought, he needs to create a friendly atmosphere in their dorm, since they are all in the same dorm, there are things that should not be hidden from everyone. The guys looked at him, waiting for what the guy was trying to say, Han said that as for him, he also has his own problems. Sensitivity, low self-esteem, or the fact that he is an introvert, unpleasant things always weigh on Han, he doesn't know what to do about it. Previously, when he read Buddhist scriptures, they were scared, this is his way of fighting inner demons, in fact, the guy values friendship very much, but does not know how to express it well. Since they are in the same dorm, it must be fate given by heaven, the guys were shocked by what they heard. Han added, in the future, let them take care of him, the main character hopes that they will become good friends. Xiaodongbei was shocked, he didn't understand why the blue-haired guy suddenly said that. Ding Ding replied, he doesn't think the main character has any problems with inner demons. Short hair the guy cried and said that he wanted to go home, Han asked the guys what was happening to them. The guys left the room, Ding Ding said, if it weren't so difficult to find housing here, he would have moved out a long time ago. Xiaodongbei answered, for some reason he felt that the main character was lying to them. The red-haired guy answered, he also thought about it, but it seems to him that Han is not so bad, although rather creepy. The guy in the t-shirt happily hit Ding Ding on the back with his hand and said that they should think more positively. He said that they should consider him a godlike figure who protects them, perhaps he can help them. In the future, Ding Ding and Xiao Dongbei will lead the way, being powerful, and Brother Han, holding a Buddhist scripture in his right hand and a hammer in his left, will protect them. Xiao Dongbei really liked this outcome, he could imagine how it will be a wonderful sight. Ding Ding sighed and told the guy to forget about it because he really didn't understand Han. Short hair the guy replied, maybe he doesn't understand, but his sister can, when Ding Xiao starts to act, there is no person she can't handle. The guy got angry and hit Xiao on the head with all his might Dunbea and said he was an idiot. The red-haired guy showed his middle finger and said that he would not give his sister to anyone. Xiao Dongbei was embarrassed, after which the guy replied that he just joking about why he was so angry. Next, the action takes place in the dining room, where Yu Yun said Fan's name many times and pointed her finger at her. Fan waved her hand and asked why she was talking like that, as if they were some kind of villain. Yu Yun hugged Xia Lu Ting in tears and told her to look at him, yesterday he ate her food and used her things, but today the guy is behaving so badly. Han told the girl to wait with false accusations, the guy ate her food, but did not use the girl's things. He even packed them in a special bag, he held them out for Yu Yun to take them, the girls were shocked. The girl took the bag and screamed that she was just joking, Han didn't understand why she grabbed the bag like that. The short-haired girl thought about it, the guy is a little rude, but quite reasonable, she needs to somehow get him. The main character looked at Yu Yun, wondering what she was thinking, even though the guy doesn't want to mess with them, using them to tease Xia Lu Ting is a pretty good idea. Time passed very slowly, the blue-haired guy played sports every morning. When he came back to the dorms, he tried to study everything, studying was very important to him. The blue-haired boy often made plans for the future and hung his goals and dreams on the board to remind him of what he was striving for. Han thought that he lives an ordinary life, but if someone asks him if there is anything interesting in it, he will give a positive answer. Further actions take place near the university, the main character approached the entrance and saw many girls, he suddenly became a celebrity. The main character went into his room and sat down at the computer, he was thinking about how to get rid of all this fame, suddenly he was called. It was Ding Ding who said that they were leaving, the guy would bring him something when he returned, Han wished them good luck. 
The guy raised his pen to his face and thought, if he remembers correctly, the holiday begins tomorrow. He went to the computer and started looking for information, he learned that tomorrow there would be a meeting for those who stayed in the dorm. Han opened a group on the computer, where a dispute began about where to spend the holiday, even though it was the first year of study, and conflicts had already begun. At this time, Xia Luting wrote to the group to tell students not to argue, they could vote on where to go. The blue-haired guy watched the arguments in the group, he thought that everything was happening as in a past life, even the reasons for the quarrels had not changed, the guy was sure that Luton was busy communicating with everyone, trying to settle the situation. In one class, only a few people can get three certificates, the rest will graduate with two, disputes are everywhere and sometimes people cannot figure out who is right and who is wrong. Xia Luting rules the class with her personal charm, if everyone respects her, what she says will be effective, but in a situation where everyone is arguing, no one will pay attention to the girl. The main character decided to intervene and wrote that everyone should just vote for the place where everyone wants to go, his friends agreed with this. The guy raised his hands and thought, although he didn't want to interfere, it turned out quite easily. After Han dealt with Xiaoyi, his popularity rose, with great popularity, it was easier for him to hold back the upstarts from the class. He started to get a little nervous because now, the main character was not sure what family he was from. The blue-haired guy heard a message arrive on his phone, he picked it up and saw a message in which Xia Luting thanked Han for his help. Xia Luting wrote that they were able to agree, tomorrow they will go to the safari park, and in the evening they will go to Zintiandi, the girl will pay for it, in gratitude for the help. The guy wrote how much it cost, Xia Luting saw his messages and was a little embarrassed. The dark-haired girl wrote that it was not expensive, let her not ask her again, the guy answered positively, Xia Luting was shocked by the answer and thought, this is the first time she spent money on a guy. She was very angry, but she didn't answer anything, Xia Luting thought that the guy would answer her for everything. Han waited for an answer, but the girl didn't write anything, he thought that Xia Luting was angry with him. The main character began to get nervous, he wondered what he wrote, something was wrong. The blue-haired guy decided to communicate differently, last time the guy spent a lot of time sending her a friend request. He looked at the computer screen and saw a new message there, the guy was very happy about it. The guy opened it and there was the girl's answer, she thanked him for reading her work. Han tried to calm down, he needed to make sure whether it was Xia Luting or not, so he asked her what the girl's Tencent QQ number was and whether she had a reader group. Further actions take place in the subway, where the main character talks to his parents on the phone, he said that everything is fine with him and when he becomes successful, he will buy a luxurious villa for them. The main character walked through the turnstile and said that he was not joking, after which he said goodbye to his parents. Yu Yun noticed Han and started waving at him, she happily shouted that they were waiting for him. The red-haired girl hugged the guy, Han thought it looked fake, Fan asked Yu Yun, she won't go home, she has enough money, Yu Yun replied so Fan doesn't worry, she still has money. The blue-haired guy felt awkward, Yu Yun said that she could see from her eyes that Fan was up to something, she would not leave Han's side. Han pulled away from Yu Yun's embrace and told them to go and meet the others. Xiaoyi and Chen began to approach them, but the guy was wondering where Lu Ji was, after which he heard Xia Liuting's voice. The dark-haired girl waved her red ensign and announced that everyone was here, they had to go, she would go by metro tickets. Some unfamiliar student approached Han and said that their prefect's legs were really very good. The main character looked at the student and asked what was so attractive about Xia Liuting's legs. The guy replied, long exercise was not in vain, her legs are amazing and not only her legs, her figure is very graceful. Han was embarrassed and agreed with the student's words, Xia Luting asked what they were chatting about. If they don't hurry, they might get lost, the blue-haired guy agreed with the girl's words and said that they were already on their way. Xia Luting thought that this was their first event with the class, and Han was with them, so there should be no problem. Xiaoyi stood and looked tired, the guy said that the subway was full, and he was already tired of walking, they seriously want to go there, one of the students replied, why not, the last time they were there was when they were children. Moreover, it is cheap, only 65 yuan for a student card, not everyone is as rich as him, these words made Xiaoyi angry. The long-haired guy said that they were kidding, use the low price as an excuse, he can lend him money. 
The student replied that no one was bullying him, no one forced him to come here, Xiaoyi became even more angry with the guy. Xiaoyi walked over and asked if the student had any problems, a classmate asked what he meant, he wanted to fight with him, they were filled with rage. The dark-haired girl did not understand how it happened so suddenly, she was shocked by what she saw. Xia Luting approached them and asked what they were doing, the girl decided to stop them before things came to a fight. Yu Yun took Han's hand and said, they are going to fight now, it's very scary, the main character was scared by the girl's sudden reaction. Han replied that they were not going to fight, everything was fine, so let him let him go, Yu Yun replied that she was afraid, Fan watched this, she was in shock. Fan ran up to the main character and grabbed his hand and said that she was also very afraid. The blue-haired guy didn't understand why the girls were afraid, they were fighting all the time, and then suddenly they became so active. The only one who should feel fear in this situation is the main character. The main character said how about the girls let him go and he will resolve the dispute between them. The girls were embarrassed and together said no, after which they squeezed their hands even tighter sign of Alasom guy. Yu Yun replied, they can attack him, Fan said, it's too dangerous, let them figure it out themselves, don't let them bother them, Han was shocked. The blue haired guy closed his eyes and thought, if they don't want to let him go, then he will do it. Han took them and groped them, the girls screamed and let go of the guy's hands, they didn't expect him to do this. The short haired girl cried and ran away from Han, the guy looked at her and thought that he had overdone it a little. The main character sighed and thought, in a past life they didn't even look in his direction, but now they are trying to get closer to him. The guy noticed how Xia Luting was trying to calm the guys down so that they wouldn't fight anymore. Xia Luting told the students that this was their first event together, but they had already quarreled. The girl paid attention to the main character, he did not understand why Xia Luting was looking at him. She wanted the blue-haired guy to pay attention to her and help resolve the conflict. Han decided to approach Xia Luting to help her. The girl standing nearby did not understand where he was going. He leaned over and shouted, the girls paid attention to the guy and could not understand what he was up to. The blue-haired guy quickly ran and shouted that he urgently needed to go to the toilet, Xia Luting was shocked by Han's actions. Xia Luting was angry that the main character abandoned her and did not help her in such a difficult situation. The dark-haired girl said if guys want to fight, let them go where there are no people. The head girl told them not to spoil the mood of other students, now everyone will disperse and in two hours they will meet again here. The students started asking if they weren't supposed to gather here, and the female students started whispering that these guys must be crazy. A little time passed, the main character was sitting near a tree and reading the messages that the girl sent him, Yu Yun asked what he was doing, she wanted the guy to join her in a small grove. Fan wrote to the guy that it was very hot today, Han didn't know where to change clothes, the main character was in shock, he didn't know what to do. Han thought that he needed to focus on his goal, he didn't want to ruin his relationship with Xia Luting because of this mess, she should have already resolved this matter, so he needs to write to her. Further actions take place near the building where you could look at the penguins, Xia Luting was walking along the road, she could not believe that Han really ran away. The girl sat down on the bench, she hoped that the main character would help her, now the dark-haired girl would no longer talk to him. Xia Luting saw that someone had sent her messages, so she decided to see who it was. She looked and saw Han's messages asking for help, Xia Luting turned away and thought that she would not answer him. The head woman thought that she would not talk to him, but would simply ask what happened to him. Han wrote that he needed help, his stomach hurt, but he didn't take toilet paper with him, Xia Luting couldn't help but laugh. The dark-haired girl replied that she couldn't help him with this, she couldn't go into the men's room, Xia Luting thought that this guy had finally fallen into her hands. The main character wrote that the girl should ask someone to pass it on, the head girl replied that when he asks for a favor, he must ask correctly. The blue-haired guy wrote that he was begging her, Xia Luting replied, let him think about what he should call the girl, she thought, if Han called her a kind and charming little fairy, she would help him. The guy asked whether it was better for him to call her mom or madam, Xia Luting was shocked by the protagonist's words. He continued to ask, then maybe it would be better, dear, the girl was very angry with Han, she thought that the guy was mocking her. Xia Luting thought about it, Han is sent by heaven to bully her, you have to be a fool to pay attention to him, 
he can't say a few beautiful words to make the girl happy. The girl sighed and thought, even when Yu Yun and Fang were interested in him, he showed no interest. From behind, someone asked Xia Lu Ting what she was thinking about, and the girl wanted to turn around to see who it was. The dark-haired girl turned around and saw Han there with ice cream, he told the girl that it was hers, let her eat it quickly, otherwise it would melt, Xia Lu Ting was very embarrassed. The head woman thought, in ancient times they said that literature should be like contemplating a mountain, and not appreciating a plane, the same principle applies to love. Getting angry or upset, then creating a surprise to create a significant contrast, using emotional swings, can really strengthen the relationship. A love story that does not fully evoke emotions is also not a good love story, sincere flattery does not work. Only by mastering this knowledge can one strengthen and maintain relationships, the main character looked at the girl and did not understand why she was so embarrassed. Xia Luting turned away from the guy, Han told her to take the ice cream, he stood in a long line to buy it, so it must be delicious. The blue-haired guy told her not to be angry, he bought himself toilet paper, he has a feeling that his stomach is still bad, so he should go back. The dark-haired girl replied, if Hanyu needs to go to the toilet, then just let him go, you don't have to tell her. The guy smiled and thought, this girl is usually quite aloof, she has a rather bad attitude towards this kind of jokes. The main character brought the ice cream to the girl's face and asked, she still doesn't understand, if Xia Luting doesn't take it, he will put the ice cream in the girl's mouth. The head girl took the ice cream and asked if he washed his hands, the guy replied that he just went to the toilet and went to buy her ice cream. Why would he wash his hands, he didn't touch anything, Han thought, since she has such a sense of humor, it would be stupid not to make fun of her. Xia Luting couldn't help but laugh, the guy started to worry, he didn't expect it to make her laugh. The girl continued to laugh, the blue-haired guy looked at her and asked why she was laughing. With laughter, Xia Luting's tears flowed, she told the guy to wait, let her give her a break. The dark-haired girl looked at the guy and thought, Han always smiles and even bought her ice cream, no wonder Fang and Yu Yun always walk near him, the guy is really interesting. Although he can be annoying sometimes, the guy is really funny and kind. But Xia Luting could not say that she liked Han very much, if a girl claims that she has no feelings for him, she is lying to herself. The head girl straightened her hair and thought, if this is so, then the girl wants to give this guy a chance. The main character looked at the girl and did not understand why she suddenly became so arrogant again. Suddenly the system congratulated Han, thanks to his efforts, he had successfully mastered a new skill, the guy was surprised. This is a new skill, a position among people, the guy was happy with the skill he received. He still has almost 180,000 experience points left, he should upgrade it to level 3. Now he has 3 third level skills, these skills are needed not only to communicate with girls, now he can check other people. Han asked Xia Luting how she liked the ice cream, the girl replied that it was very tasty, it had a very strong milky taste. The blue-haired guy waved his hand and asked if she could feel anything else, Xia Luting replied that she should still feel it. She was shocked when she realized what the guy meant. Xia Luting screamed that the guy was a fool, he wanted to die, Han replied, where did her mind go? he meant whether the girl felt the taste of love. The dark-haired girl stood up from the bench and replied that the main character should love himself. The girl was playing on the street, when she ran she accidentally pushed Xia Luting and she began to fall. The main character grabbed her to prevent her from falling to the ground, Xia Luting was very embarrassed as she pressed herself against Han's body. Han said that there are a lot of children here, they are quite noisy and energetic, the girl should be careful. Xia Luting turned around and answered, their behavior was understandable to her considering their age, but her classmates, more rowdy than these kids in their class, were more weirdos than she had ever seen. They say that the National Academy of Communications is not easy to manage, but Xia Luting thinks that their head teacher has a much easier time than her, in the whole week, they have not encountered a single problem, what about their class? They're just a bunch of troublemakers, even when they go out to have fun they end up fighting. The blue-haired guy replied, a person's energy is very limited, if the girl understands what Han is talking about, they can only do so many things in one day, but since they have nothing to do, all the remaining energy is wasted, this is a big waste, 
The reason why Communication Academy students are easy to manage is because they have a large amount of money. They do not have enough energy for any conflicts and quarrels, so nothing happens to them. Since their classmates do not have that much money, they can only entertain themselves with games on the computer or phone. Their energy simply has nowhere to go, although their class has small conflicts, they do not create big problems, but at the academy the situation is the opposite, they are usually calm. But once something happens, it becomes big news, the girl needs to understand the difference between these situations, only then will Xia Luting find a suitable way to manage the class. Xia Luting replied that what he said made sense, and his insight was quite good, but in the current situation, how could she achieve effective classroom management? The main character answered, she cannot completely get rid of conflicts, in the future there will be more and more of them, you should not pay attention to everyone. The dark-haired girl thought about it, what Han said really makes sense, focusing on important tasks is one approach. The guy smiled and said, the girl is just too lazy, she shouldn't direct her energy where it is really needed, she replied that pride without strength is arrogance. Xia Luting thought about it, she has ambition, but she lacks Han's thinking, he really has something to be proud of, with such inner strength and foresight. However, what the guy said makes sense, in the future the girl will focus on important things. The girl looked at Han and said, one day she will surpass the guy and become even better than him. The main character gave a thumbs up and wished the girl good luck, Xia Luting got angry and asked what was wrong with his tone, why the guy was talking to her like a child. The blue-haired guy replied that he didn't want to offend her, suddenly someone said the dark-haired girl's name. It was Yu Yun who quickly ran towards them, she said that she had finally found the headman. She was worried about Xia Luting, so she asked her whether she felt better or not. When she saw the main character sitting next to Xia Luting, she was shocked. Yu Yun wondered why Han and Xia Luting were sitting here together, she began to guess why the guy did not answer her messages. The short-haired girl said that she had finally found her friend, Xia Luting stood up from the bench to greet Yu Yun. When Yu Yun ran to hug her friend, Xia Luting quietly threw the piece of paper into the trash can and said that she was fine, she couldn't stay angry at them for long. The friend replied that Xia Luting had not responded to her message for a long time, so she was upset, the girl apologized and said that she had not checked her phone, and then asked if Yu Yun wanted to go to the exhibition as if. Han looked at them and thought, they say that men have always liked 18-year-old girls, when they stand together, they radiate youth. The main character is thinking, they want to go to the elephant exhibition, but Fan is there now. Yu Yun turned around and asked if Han didn't want to go with them to the elephant exhibition. But the guy had already gone somewhere, the girl didn't understand where he could have run away from them so quickly. The short-haired girl asked where he had disappeared to, Xia Luting replied that she would call Han now to ask. The blue-haired guy took the phone and answered the call, then asked what they wanted from him. Xia Luting asked the guy where he had disappeared to, he replied that he needed to finish the job, he asked if she wanted to help him. The dark-haired girl screamed, whoever wants to help him should just die, Yu Yun was shocked by the elder's reaction. Yu Yun asked her friend what they were doing here, Xia Luting thought about it, this guy continues to joke, even on speakerphone. The head girl started to leave and replied that the guy was in the toilet, he was deliberately mocking them, it was too childish. Next, the action takes place at the airport, where Yen Fei was sitting and looking at the photographs that the blue-haired guy sent. She wrote to the guy that the girl also wanted to go to the zoo, Han replied that the next time she was free, he would take her there, and if they had enough time, they would also go to Sanya. Yen Fei smiled and replied that it sounded great, she was looking forward to the next holiday. The main character thought, this girl was very cute, when he looked at the time, it was already 4 o'clock, it was time for him to meet the rest of his classmates. Xia Luting watched the students who wanted to go out to eat, but everyone had their own option, they began to argue. Han came and told them to forget about restaurants, they would just go to the snack street and everyone would buy what they liked. Yu Yun waved her hand and replied that she agreed, everyone could eat what they wanted, the students liked this idea. Next, the action takes place on the street of snacks, Han was asked what he wanted to try, the guy replied that fried squid looked very tasty. The short-haired girl asked the seller how much it cost, Han was surprised, he thought the girl was just joking, the squid should cost at least 300 yuan. She put the ears on her head and asked the main character how he liked her ears, 
he wanted to try them on, Han replied that they were cute, but definitely not for him. The blue-haired guy pointed his finger at Xia Lu Ting who was holding Fan's hand and said, she doesn't want to go with the others, he thinks that she will have more fun with them than with him. The student replied that if she went with them, he would be bored, she still didn't know what happened between Hanum and Xia Lu Ting when they were alone. The girl took the main character's hand and said, there are still many places where they can go, she thought that she should have taken advantage of this opportunity. They ran up to the store, the girl saw something through the store window and looked at it intently. Yu Yun looked at the necklace, the main character noticed this and decided to look at it. Han remembered that in his previous life he gave the exact same necklace to Yu Yun, but she looked at him with disgust. The main character asked the girl if she liked it, Yu Yun replied, yes, it is very beautiful, she wanted to go inside. The students walked inside, the blue-haired guy was drinking a drink and watching his girlfriend. He wondered about a past life, Han gave her this necklace as a sign of his love, but the guy had never seen her wear it. Now the main character is not interested in this girl, but she liked the obesity, which she once despised. The blue-haired guy sighed, for him this situation was truly absurd and funny. Han walked up to the girl and said that he would buy it, he needed a receipt, the guy thought, let this necklace become an item that marks the end of an era in his past life. Yu Yun was overjoyed and asked if he would buy this necklace for her, she must show off to Fan. The guy replied that she should wait, if she said that, he would not buy it. The main character picked up the phone and heard the sound of the system from behind, she said that the guy had made a big purchase. He turned around to look at the system, she wrote to him that the guy received a new bonus. It was a leash for animals, when he puts this leash on a cat or dog, he can confidently go for a walk. The blue-haired guy smiled, he would need it if he had a husky, his thoughts were interrupted by the girl. The short-haired girl asked the guy if he could help her put on this necklace. Han took the necklaces in his hands and said that he was quite clumsy, Yu Yun replied that everything was fine, let him take his time. The student put a necklace on the beauty's neck and said that it seemed to be holding well. The protagonist's girlfriend was very happy, Han heard screams outside the window and turned to see what was happening there. The guy was shocked when he saw that his classmates, including Fan and Xia Lu Ting, were standing outside the window, watching them. The main character did not understand what they were doing here, had the students misunderstood them? He wondered what he could be guilty of, the guy was just helping Yu Yun with the necklace, what questions could there be for him? Han smiled and thought, he is only interested in Xia Lu Ting, if he wants to get her, he must act decisively. If he is not decisive enough, then how can he gain access to her heart, the guy began to approach his classmates. They left the store, the main character raised his hand and asked what they were doing here. Fan smiled and answered, they were gathering all their classmates, and what happened, they interfered with them. Yu Yun put her hand on her chest and replied that they were just about to find them to go with them. One of the students said that since they had all gathered, it was time for them to go back. Xia Luting answered positively, they had to leave already, because it was starting to get dark, and this would be the end of their event today. The students were unhappy that they were already returning, one of them waved his hand and said that it was quite boring. The unfamiliar girl replied that she had a great time, the student who was walking next to her said, next time they can go together, they will have more opportunities. The main character thought, there will be no second chance, in a past life such events were no longer organized, life is a journey from loneliness to loneliness. Most people just pass you by in this life, what he said earlier applies to everyone. A guy shouldn't let random people influence him, there's no point in hanging out with these kids, what's really important is building a career and making money. Han arrived at the dorm, he could finally relax after a long day of walking around the city. The blue-haired guy sat down at the table and turned on the computer, he saw a message in which the author of the novels wrote him his QQ number, everything went according to plan. At this time, the girl picked up the phone, a person with the nickname, Ham and Cucumber, wanted to add her as a friend. Xia Luting was thinking about what to write to her, maybe say hello and ask how to contact him, this is the first reader who decided to write to her and even gave her a gift. The dark-haired girl became embarrassed and threw the phone with all her might. After which she picked up the phone and saw the reader's messages, he wanted to know why this book was not finished, he really liked her style, did she plan to start writing a new book. She replied that she thanks him for his support, but it's not that she doesn't want to finish it, 
the girl is very disappointed because of the content, which has a lot of problems. The main character read her messages and thought that her writing style was completely unique. If this continues, she won't be successful in the future, she's too caught up in her writing style. For the sake of style, Xia Luting neglects the development of the plot and basic logic, since the guy wants to cooperate in the future, simply cheering her up without addressing these issues will not work. The guy needs to point out the problems, but do it gently so as not to offend her, so he decided to write to her that her work is good, but in foggy rain, there are some plot problems. There Xia Luting was surprised that he was able to accurately identify all of her problems, the girl thought that he was really her biggest fan. She was sure that he had read her novel completely, so she decided to answer him. Thanks to his messages, Xia Luting feels much better, she wrote to ask him to give specific advice from the reader's point of view, or how she can fix these problems. Han was shocked, he thought that this child wants help from a random reader, if any fan can analyze these problems, then why are professionals needed? However, the main character has 10 years of reading experience and third-level writing and literature skills, she is very lucky that he is an expert in this. The blue-haired guy gave advice, besides general problems such as plot, character development and pacing, he believes that her biggest problem may be her lack of general knowledge about life. This makes it difficult for the girl to maintain the integrity of the work she wants to write, the story Xia Lu Ting wants to tell is quite ambitious. But if the girl cannot fill it with relevant details and content, it will be pointless, such a superficial story will alienate readers. Moreover, she has a wild imagination and the girl writes whatever comes to mind, such novels are not bad, but they set a higher reading threshold than ordinary novels. Only someone who understands this can appreciate its value, which is why the data in her novel is so scarce, Xia Luting knew that this reader was absolutely right. The girl replied that he was amazing, his analysis of the work was completely correct, she asked how she could fix it. The main character was glad that now their cooperation begins. A little time passed, in the girl's dormitory, Yu Yun asked her friend if she was going to bed, Xia Luting replied that she needed to finish something. At this time, the main character was sitting and thinking that his main problem now is the lack of life experience, but this is not something that can be solved quickly. The guy wrote to Xia Luting, he thinks that he should avoid such topics and write stories in his comfort zone, effectively using his skills. She needs to gradually build up her fan base, after which Han asked what genre is easiest for her to write in. Xia Luting responded that she excels at portraying certain scenes delicately. The blue-haired guy took a cup of coffee and began to drink, after which he asked, for example, which ones? The author replied that she easily captures small details of the female body, the main character was embarrassed. He asked, does the girl mean intimate scenes, she describes it so unusually, Han thought about it, he didn't know that Xia Luting was into this. Xia Luting could not sit still, Yu Yun noticed this, she was wondering who she was talking to. Han asked the question if she really liked writing novels and if she was going to continue her career, the dark-haired girl answered positively, she really liked it. The head woman thought about it, in fact, this is not entirely true, she does not have much choice. The main character thought that the girl was quite ambitious, she could not be a simple worker, given the circumstances, she needed to either open her own business or marry a rich man. He remembers that Xia Luting once joked about wanting to become a model, but she gave up because she couldn't handle it. However, now, continuing to write novels is the best solution, he wrote that he had an idea. He always wanted to write a novel about a domineering CEO, the main character should be a handsome, proud and truly domineering CEO with a dark and cold demeanor. And the main character is a very attractive, kind-hearted and cheerful girl. The main characters meet on a train, after a series of events and coincidences, they begin to develop feelings for each other and gradually their relationship begins to blossom. However, there are conflicts between the company of the girl's father and the company of the man, the composure and ruthlessness of the protagonist lead to the fact that the girl's father ends up in prison. This situation causes a significant rift between the main characters, and the main character's sister, in an effort to protect her, signs agreements with the main character, sacrificing herself. In the end, having learned the whole truth, the main character undergoes a transformation from an ordinary cheerful girl, she turns into a more cruel and cold-blooded version of the main character. Subsequently, 
she returns to the protagonist, feigning her submission and begins her plan of revenge. The main character asked the girl how she liked this story, she was a little excited. Further actions take place in the library, where the blue-haired guy was choosing books for himself, he needed the skill of speed reading. But suddenly he discovered Xia Luting, who was also choosing books for herself, he greeted the headman. Han asked if she needed this book, he wanted to help the girl get it, she did not expect help from the main character. The guy asked if she was really thinking about writing a novel, Xia Luting replied that didn't he tell her that she needed to spend more time on self-development. The blue-haired guy said that writing novels could bring in a lot of money if she succeeded in it, the girl thanked the guy and replied that she still had things to do, so it was time for her to leave. The main character smiled, waved and wished the girl good luck and a good rest. Xia Luting came to the dormitories, threw down her book and decided to sit down to read the messages. She wrote to the reader that this story was really amazing, the images were incredibly vivid, the guy replied, he was glad that she thought so, Han wanted to collaborate with her. The dark-haired girl asked why he wanted to collaborate with her, the guy replied that he couldn't create stories, but he thought it would be stupid not to propose the idea. But there is another proposal, he can hire her to work on his project, and as for payment, there are two options, the first is payment of 20 yuan for a thousand corrections. The second option, he offers profit sharing, if she is confident in their cooperation, she can claim a third of all income, including subscriptions, copyrights and everything else. Xia Luting replied, this is quite unexpected, she wants to think it over, the reader replied that she can take her time, he will prepare three chapters and outlines to provide them to the girl. The student thought about it, 20 yuan for corrections may not seem like much income, but for a part-time job, it's quite worthy. The head girl wanted to try and decide on this, if the three chapters lived up to expectations, she had to take a risk. In addition, they study in the same place, but for some reason Han greatly overshadows her, the girl refuses to be in his shadow. Next, the action takes place in the library, the main character thought that although Xia Luting is a little stubborn, she is very smart, he will provide her with sketches for a future popular novel. Novels targeting women is just the beginning, Right now he needs to take every opportunity to make money and improve the system. Suddenly, a message came to Xia Liuting's phone, she picked up the phone to read it, the reader wrote that he had prepared the chapters, let him forgive him for being late. The girl was happy, three days had already passed, she thought that the guy had changed his mind. Yu Yun said that she needed to leave, when she returned, she would buy her something sweet, Xia Luting wished her good luck. The girl opened the file that the reader sent, she began to read carefully and discovered that the last name of the main character was the same as hers. She thought it was just a coincidence. When she continued reading, she discovered that this work was even more amazing than she had imagined. Although this story is banal, about a damsel in distress, the characters are very well integrated into the story, especially the main character. In some places the descriptions are too violent and the main character's reaction is not entirely appropriate, but this is a minor problem. The content of this work was truly amazing, she agreed to work with him, but she needed a fee for writing, about a third of the proceeds. Han agreed, but since she decided to share the profits, his demands would be more serious. The blue-haired guy decided to give her a trial run, let her try what the girl is good at, so she had to write a passionate scene between the main characters. She had to approach this matter from a woman's point of view and give free rein to her imagination, there was no limit to the volume of words. Xia Luting was angry and wondered if this guy wanted her to write this just to read it. The dark-haired girl replied that she would write everything and send it to him, but could the guy change the main character's surname, because it was too common. Han replied that how about changing it to Xia Meiting, it sounds more appropriate. The girl became embarrassed and thought that it had become even worse, because it was even closer to her. The student wrote what she meant, why not change it to a more artistic name? The blue-haired guy wrote that he cannot change this, this surname is very important to him, but he will leave other characters to the girl, he is not very good at coming up with names. He added that they should start working, they could discuss the rest when he finished the draft. Xia Luting wondered why this surname is very important to him, what meaning this surname could have. Several days passed, it was night outside, the girl sent the guy a file with a story, when he read it, he was very embarrassed. 
The main character wrote to Xia Luting that this was amazing, it was far beyond what he had imagined, the girl couldn't believe that she had done so well. The dark-haired girl asked the guy if they are partners from today, he replied that it is so, since it is a collaboration, does she think they should sign a contract? The girl wondered when they signed the contract, wouldn't their personal information and appearance be revealed, but if this book succeeds, a third of the income will be very significant. She replied that she did not know, Han asked if she was concerned about the disclosure of personal information, the girl replied that she had some problems with this. Han had an idea, he would give Xia Luting access to the author panel so that she could check the details at any time, and then she would give him her payment account, he would transfer the money to her immediately. And as soon as they get to know each other better and the girl trusts him, they can sign a contract, Xia Luting replied that that would be great, she hoped for their fruitful cooperation. The blue-haired guy got up from his chair, next, he needed to prepare several drafts and upload them. The main character did not leave the room for several days, he needed to go throw out the trash. Han heard a sound, when he turned his head he saw a shadow in the doorway. These were religion religion and Shaodongbei, they arrived at the hostel and shouted that they were back. The guys started searching the room and couldn't find the main character, Shaodongbei he said he might not be here. But then he found Han, Xiao Dongbei and noticed that the guy was doing something near the trash can. The blue-haired guy turned around and looked threateningly in their direction. They were very scared, hugged each other and shouted that now they were definitely finished, Han would kill them here. Han looked at them and was shocked, he didn't understand what was wrong with these guys and decided to just remain silent.